the metaverse masters Masters of the metaverse that travel through time and space and stuff Troll them, reroll them, throw them above They fly through dimensions, this isn't love Heroes compelled, they have no choice The mother winds of a secret voice Masters, masters of the metaverse 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 You're on. You have to say uh, hi. Are, we're, we're, we're live? Yeah, yeah. like yeah. you have to talk right to the now. people. This, I got, yeah. I mean, now? I can see you. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do Kelly, it live. It's time, Kelly. Sweet. <gasps> we're ready to go with Masters of the Metaverse, aren't we? <laughs> it's nice to see you guys all here. No, I'm not really that nervous. <laughs> yes, I'm really that nervous. I'll get through it, though. Go, Kelly, right. go. That's how we do these things. So uh, this is Masters of the Metaverse. How many of you don't know what this is about? Put your hands down. <laughs> Class, man. <laughs> Thought I taught these kids better than that. So, uh, this week is my first week, and uh, we'll see how this does. Um, super fast, for those who haven't watched this before, Master Metaverse, multi-universe. We go from world to world with some regular characters that are called... Pilots! Pilots. Pretty good. And they embody wonderful little bodies called... Avatars! Avatars. We have the sliders on one side player. The other side, we've got avatars. Crazy things happen between one side and the other, especially with you guys. Yes. Uh, no, so, yeah, uh, it always makes everything so normal. They do. Oh, yeah, no, no. They do half of our job for us. Yep. Um, before I get into the other announcements, since we're on that, why don't we go with from the far left, starting with you? Me. Um, <laughs> explain uh, who you are. Your characters. Do you want to start on this end? Since you how about that side? No pressure at all. <laughs> I, I just He's wanted to throw it at you because you know that's what they did to me. <laughs> that's all good. You've done the show before, though, man. It's all good. No. Uh, so hi, chat. My name's Chris Odie. If you've not seen the show before, I oftentimes sit in the chair. Kelly is in. I'm not today because this week is Gen Con and I'm fried. You might think I'm in some sort of weird character mode for tonight. I'm not. I've just lost it and broken. He has quite a bit, and I'm with see. him. Well, you want me to say what? We'll try and tape them together. We Pick one. Identities. The you bottom know, two. How about the you're bottom the only two? What the hell are you doing? Oh, so I'm you the have only to tell one with the sheet. Uh, explain Zoe Hyper. Oh, okay, so this show, Bastards of the Metaverse, is a RPG show done in collaboration between Hyper RPG and Zombie Orpheus Entertainment. And Patreon backers to Zoe are able to vote every month, or at least every time we change casts. Which on, is um, daily. Which is pretty frequently. <laughs> on uh, special buffs and gifts for the uh, for the team to use, and so special abilities. Thank and so you. I think, Hilly, you have a list. I, I do actually have a list and your second week. bullet point. Awesome. I can take that as well. Uh, we've got the conversion from leftovers from last week. Right. So right. that, right. you know, you guys get your money's worth out of everything. All the time. Yes. For QQ coming on board, you've <laughs> got uh, a plus five bonus. Yeah. And an additional plus two from leftovers for last week, so plus seven. Cool. So plus one seven. time, one time that you want your roll to be seven better than it is, you can decide that one time it gets before seven or after the roll. Yeah, doesn't matter. After the roll is often very, very handy yeah. since you're the newcomer. You also have ten points of armor that you can use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I realize the way the tricet works, we should probably start referring to it as ten points of like overshield or something. Yeah, armor is constant, and I forgot that. Until... It's it's more like ten points of force field because yeah, so it's down and gone. It'll take your first damage, then it goes away. Yeah. Vanessa, you have a plus four, and then the additional plus two, and you have uh, looks like uh, in Chris's very small writing. I'm going to go with twenty five points of armor. That's sure. what I think it is, because the charge. 20 below Any, it looks different. Anything so. you say really? is true. And, and, well, that's right. I'm the GM, and that's uh -huh. how that works, right? See how I'm ass-kissing the GM already? That's well, Sarah, Sarah, and uh, that 4 looks <laughs> ominously <laughs> like a 5. <laughs> um, yeah. And a plus 2. See, that's great. That's and 20 should. points of armor, Chris. You have plus 6 total. Okay. And 20 points of armor. I have plus 65. 
<laughs> Minus 60. And 30 points of armor. Thank nice. you, chat and patrons. Thank, thank you so you. much, thank everybody. You, thank you very much. Uh, on that very Pleasure. note, um, the best way to support this show and hyper in general is to subscribe. Yes. That's how you show your love. This all here is all fun and games. But uh, also afterwards today we have, is it Indomitable that's after? Uh, that's and they're doing Lord of the Rings. Oh, are they? Cool. I think Mark gave us a thumbs up on that. <clears throat> Did he? How can you see him back there behind I, all this stuff? Gotta get I see, oh, I you got a hole in the wall. I can't see what time it is, but I can see Mark. Okay. <laughs> 49 are, you, seconds, are you saying 50? I have a big butt? With I our am. powers combined. All right. Um, well, next we will go with Sarah, yes. who can explain uh, how they exactly that works with the how whole the, pilot whole avatar skills. Okay. And so I have skills, and so does everybody else uh, as a pilot. And I have skills and attributes because uh, I like attributes on as an avatar. And I right now I'm right in the middle, and so I have to roll d12s, which suck. And it, the closer I get to whichever side, I get to roll better dice if those are the skills or attributes that I'm going for. The farther away from the thing I'm going for I have to do, the bigger dice I have to do. So I use meta points, thank you chat, to get from one side to the other or move where I want to go. They are communal, so we sort of share them and are try to, try to be a team, on, but sometimes we get selfish and we're like, I'm using them! Um, I can also use my buff to go any place I want, as opposed to counting each meta point for each little spot on the chart. Hopefully that made sense. That's what I got. <coughs> Vanessa, <laughs> I'm gonna take the one that's technically next on list. Why don't you tell everybody about the store and how it works? The Metaverse store, this was my bullet point last week. It was, yes. I remember that. I, remember. I know that I can say, hey, can someone throw up a link? Throw up a link in chat, please? No. <laughs> I can, I can print it. <laughs> can, yes, thank you, Bombshell. Uh, okay. Uh, never there's so giving. many glorious things you can purchase in, in, the, in the Metaverse store. Um, you, as chat, get to affect the game in really okay. wonderful, amazing, funny, smart, uh, scary, awesome, crazy, more adjectives. All the Off the rails. Ways, Off right? the rails. Um, Ludicrous. So in addition to the the, rails? Pre, the the things that you can buy specific to our characters, there are also, um, I don't I don't remember how much into detail you went last time. Did you list all the items? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, there's lots of items, but I think that the most important point is to talk about the things that are um, at like, at the marks, the levels, the levels that yes. are released. So at yes. the five hundred dollar mark, the the Zoe giveaway uh -huh. is released. Yes, yes. And, um, which is awesome. You can access like any digital downloads of any yeah, digital download stuff. or yeah. a coupon code for a discount on some sort of physical merch. Yeah. Yeah. This is really great. Yeah. Uh, and then at, at one thousand dollars, a waffle, a golden waffle is released. Yes. Like the, it just uh, appears magically. No one has to do any work on it at all. Valiant Vanquish really right superheroes. Now. Mm -hmm. Well done, by the way. Yes, thanks. Uh, <laughs> RPG. Then at uh, $1,500, you get a hack attack. Whoop! What's a hack attack? A hack attack may, it means that you can uh, you can hack, you can affect, you can do anything, anything you want. Literally anything you want. You can flood an entire city. Yep. In fact, sure. the, the golden waffle last week was all about our favorite, our favorite moments, hack which favorite happened moments. to be Mostly a bunch of hack, hack attacks. <laughs> uh, and then at $2,000, another waffle, another golden waffle for you. Yep. Chat for you. Please put the put the golden waffle emojis up right now. You have all the power. You're like, throw the link. Throw, throw the waffle. Do link. this. Link. Get it on. Yes. Press the waffle button. Have you ever gone back and watched the show, like the, the emojis when they pop up? It's really cool if you, if you watch it in theater, the, the waffle emoji just pops really well. It's great. Because it's got a black background. It looks really good. I and, did. I watched it a bunch. And of course, on that very note right there, you yeah. are chat. Chat. Computerized, hyper reality, amplification, and I like big words, transmogrification system. There you go. The chats. You guys are the chats, and you get to make this crazy shit work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you do it really well. Um, and you do it as for other things, so we've cool. got uh, Valiant Vanquished Volume 4. We also got to introduce QQ. Hmm? Did we, I don't think we officially he, said. Oh, maybe he's going to get We have a special there. guest for this I week and next faith. week. Yeah. Kelly was going to get You're there. Right, I'm I was sorry. going to get there. I was, was going to throw up. You're back Valium GMing. vanquished. What did in you there. say earlier? Trust people to get their jobs right? done. You're right. You're backseat jamming. <laughs> You're right. That's okay. Backseat Free. jamming. He's, he's my yeah. boss. He can do that. No, he can't. I will pull you this show over right now. <laughs> Please don't, Dad. I just got here. I'll fight back <laughs> and I'll beg for a hack attack. 
Mm. I'm just gonna eat so that I shut up for a while. <laughs> I think you're getting hangry. I support Chris. this. Hey, I, I know. Okay. I'll you're throw right. this one out. I'm out myself right now. <laughs> we'll we'll see how she does with this one being the new player. <laughs> Why, thank you no, for that lovely sound. That would just keep the blood going a little bit. Oh, it's a so cute brew. brew. Um, that means that we get to roll three dice at the... No, it's not. No, that's, I lied. I no, that's the right It's right like one. extra points that we get to use yeah. for our rolls. Anybody can use one point win bonus to a single roll, or a player can spend more than one for a higher bonus. Yes. So you spend <laughs> three to get two, and you spend six to get three. It, it, it's sort of cumulative in an exponential way. And this is actually... That bitch. Perfect. <laughs> Since QQ is our new new. <laughs> QQ can see how she does it explaining the tri stat system. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, was, that was the right answer. Um, I love it. I vaguely know it from watching it behind the scenes and watching it off. You know what? We'll go as. We'll, we'll figure yeah. it out at a low point. We'll way. figure it out. Low Just rolls matter. Yep. Low. That's what it is right there. It's kind of a, it's a really nice system. You can get it online for free. You can also, of course, give them some money and get an actual hard copy, which is the way I would suggest going. It's always good to support your gaming companies. Yep. Um, you use uh, different dice, eights with us, eights, tens, or twelves, depending on where you are on the slider. I said that. I know. Mm-hmm. I'm repeating. I know. Because I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> um, Never let chat see your fear. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, he I'm, doesn't I'm, look afraid. I'm he doing looks, it intentionally. Oh, that's true. He looks see, very composed. The more afraid How they are nervous that I think I am, the more they're going to do. To make right it there. awesome. So I can just, I see oh, that's how you we do that. You look way more stressed out than Kelly does. <laughs> I've got Gen Con prep that I still have to do when we fly out in 12 hours. You're fine. <laughs> you're, not getting, on, Kelly. You're, you're not getting much sleep, are you? No. I'm ready. I don't know what his problem is. Well, I'll set. sleep at the convention. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'm not buying that. Sorry, I've heard, Kelly. I've heard stories. I interrupted. Go. No, no. Um, I'll go back to the Valiant, the Valiant Vanquished, Volume Four. Um, it's at its new earlier time, seven p.m. Yeah. Watching. Um, the other thing that, of course, I would have. And they to have a new theme song. Do they? No, they do. We just do now. I hope they use, use it. Use it. Use it. Go for it. Hit. It's all very accurate. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's another thing that somebody was telling me about that I heard uh, something about a new show starting in a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, I heard a little bit about um, this show. Some Def- like stalking Legacy robot. Not a new show. I think it was like a third season of the show. A, yeah. I, what was it? Um, uh, uh, battle. Death. Death battle from above. Battle something. Yeah. Thanks. Well, um, Death from above season three starting uh, on the 25th. <laughs> Legacy. Um, my, yours truly. That's. Yeah. And me. And you. Mm-hmm. And eventually oh, other, people other people will be there. Sure. I mean, I'm sure mm-hmm. we could probably drag in Erasmus as an op for someday. Erasmus turned an, good. An he's, old, he's like, gray-haired. Work on it. So I'd just give him a year? Then we'd have to figure out how we got from the <laughs> south of the map to the north of the map. Can I have a new table partner? <laughs> Uh, no, we also have QQ. Hyperdrive, it's a week from this Saturday. Uh, it's space themed, so you can expect uh, lots of really good RP and fun, uh, as well as part two of. I hope they do a Firefly. The Space RPG. Jam script. Ah! Oh. oh. What script? Space Jam. Space Who gets Jam. to be Bugs Bunny? Part two, yeah. Probably Zach. Mm. Uh, really? Like Zach is Bugs Bunny? I don't know. I can Let's actually play. see that. <laughs> and of course, Hyper RPG and Zoe at Gen Con. So if you're watching from there, go visit them. Yeah. Booth 100. Booth number 100. Uh, it's right in the front doors. If you enter through the far left entrance, we're right over by Paizo, who is a longtime friend of the company. Booth number 100, and there is a great... Uh, image going around on Twitter. It's in Hyper's Discord. It's on Facebook. It's all over the place that shows you everything that we are doing right now at the convention. And um, oh, the schedule. Thing. Yeah, at Gen Con, we've got. If you're out there going to the show, it's we've got also live on shows. Your Twitter. Yeah. yeah, we've got screenings, RPGs, all sorts of stuff. Several premieres coming up. And if you aren't able to go out, hey, we're bringing something to you as well. And I know Zach touched on it during Honesty Hour today. Um, this coming Friday, during the usual Death from Above's time slot at 6 p.m. It's going to be so cool. We are going to present a special broadcast of Gamers Live, which is an improvised RPG comedy show that we do at conventions. Um, 
I'm in it. Steve Wolbrecht who plays Mac in DFA, Christian Doyle, uh, Maggie Fergus Wagstaff, uh, Matt Shimkus. Um, Nathan, you, uh, you and Nate, Nathan. Well, Nathan was the really awkward op for the We are, DFA. we went over that. But anyway, yeah, anyway. lots of people are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, many people. So please check that out Friday at the normal DFA time slot, and it should be a lot of fun. And we're going to show up in chat to communicate, to, uh, you know, chat with yeah. you. Let's do the show. Yeah, that's what show. I was just getting ready to say. I think we should probably uh, jump right into those pods. All right. Like uh, we're actually uh, kind of going back in time a little bit. We're doing a dun, little dun, dun, dun. training scenario in the early days before Metapilots. Well, most of the known Metapilots but jumped in for their first uh, right. first fun. Huh. Of course. I was deliberately going to leave it amorphous and just let chat figure out where they wanted to put it in time. Oh, well then, okay, we'll do that. <laughs> it makes it much easier. It does make it much Eventually, easier. Eventually, Paxima will write way. up some fanfic and then it's canon and we're all good to go. I, I, I actually well, hoped Paxima would do that <laughs> earlier because then I was going to steal the <laughs> shit out of that. <laughs> but um, you guys uh, find yourself in new um, new avatars. Ah, so we are You are there. in. I am starting you off rocking and rolling. We'll start over here and describe your avatar. I love that we all just picked up our weapons. We're like, yes. What's your name? What are you playing? I'm Bridget Stumpfoot. I'm a halfling <laughs> rogue. And I'm stealthy as fuck. Mm -hmm. Stealthy as what? I didn't hear that. Fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> Vanessa. Ah, uh, children's show. I'm Aquamarine as my my player, but as my avatar, I don't know. I don't know if you want us to mention that. Um, I am Olga Goodbeard. I am a really awesome uh, dwarven cleric over here. Really good baker. Had a good really baker. Good baker. Really cheerful. Oh, I, does she have a beard? I love my mate. Oh. You know. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Good beard implies maybe I have a beard, so just imagine it. I, I imagine a very like glorious, Probably. glowing, nicely like cared for. I'll tell, I'll tell who you are. Beard. Beaded. Yeah. Glorious, bearded, gorgeous, wonder-esque lady dwarf beard going on right here. Yeah. Braided. Wonderful. It's braiding, it's braiding right itself. Lady dwarf beard. I've got such an image. Picture her. I, I am. Pretend that this is my goblet. <clears throat> is that your goblet? A of brew. Divine power. It's filled with brew, but it's just not a goblet. Just having, you know, technical. Sorry, it's fine. Next. Difficulties that are getting sorted out. We're all good. Next, Sarah. I am Helia Spleen Ripper. What, you're Hel. Hel. Helia, kind of like. Helia. Hell yeah. Helia? Hell yeah! Spleen Ripper, who is half orc, all woman. Clearly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Giant woman! And I have a big ass sword. <laughs> what else, I do, like what you. else do you need? Uh, I don't really need much else. So he is um, on the phone with the pizza people who cannot seem to deliver to our house and our children. But he is Elf Star the Wizard, and he's a pyro with ear issues. Um, he has a fireball, and um, he's a. Yeah, that's who he is. That's basically it. Yeah, Elf wizard, telekinesis huh? a little bit, damage absorption. That's that's what he's got. He's good. I just said who you were. Did they did they get the pizza? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Oh, chat. <laughs> Parenting and Gen Conning and pizza ing and oh my, so much Playing life right wizard. now. Life all over this. P you pizza already, you shouldn't. You introduced Elf Star. I did. Elf Star the wizard. Yes. Yeah, I didn't make that voice. Elf. Pizza shouldn't be that hard, should it? Right. That okay. was the whole point to it, was that it was easy two hours ago and never showed up. <clears throat> maybe no not tip order on that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe never order from them again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywho. So the four of you. Yes. Intrepid adventures. Find yourselves on the road for many days. Many days. Many days. All right. Like, four days. you hop into your avatars and the first thing you get to do is walk. Trudge. Trudge. Really good at trudging. Trudge. This is fine. Pouring down rain. Can I kill some like meat like for it. us to eat? Would you like to kill some meat for you to eat? Yes. How do we I'm feel sure about that? There medicine? are probably plenty of Absolutely. opportunities. I'd like to use a meta point. 
Oh, yeah. There are no bad points. The, po- the oh, one bad point we have. Yes. Oh, you know, oh, you've got that over there, right? Oh, I can. Because uh, I, I, my other... Uh, I'm on it. Yeah. I you bring uh, two tablets to make sure you got this stuff it's covered. And one of them ends up dead. I want to kill an animal. I have the perfect rub for that venison. Oh, that excellent. Pack. I would like to kill a deer. What if she wants to kill a rabbit? I want to kill a deer. Of course I have rabbit rub as well. <laughs> are, are you going to... It works for everything. Hashtag have you not had a food for you, you of course, <laughs> less than three Laura. <laughs> oh, thank less you. Less than three. That's a love. Thank you. Are you going to kill it with your sword? You yes. My great sword does 56 damage. I'm pretty sure I could take out a deer. I'm, I'm pretty sure you could... Uh, <laughs> Greetings from, from one of the loyal watchers, watchers ready for the sudden chaos. Yes. Have a hashtag meta point for the group to get this off right. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Much like my used batteries, free of charge. <laughs> oh, it's Uber. Thanks. That was punny. That was very punny. I can't Alex. guarantee it, but I'm just going to assume. Um, I would assume. Food, food, battery, food. Another group for QQ. Hashtag you, <laughs> Keep this up and QQ's going to be drunk by the end of the show. <laughs> it's not so, no, so yes, I, mean, I want to I kill a deer. Like to be drunk you, you, to you, eat the deer. Yeah. Since we're going to be on the road for many days, I want to kill this deer. Yeah. Are you so just that we can to make a roll so you can get one out of the way? Yes. All right, roll it. Okay. Oh, I got a five. <laughs> Good. You managed to behead that innocent Bambi deer. It was an old deer. Probably. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. That. It's like that. Healthy. It's a healthy one. I'm trying to not chop off. And uh, so Our while shots. you're trudging. Appreciate uh-huh. the sustenance. We've butchered the venison, of course. And you are absolutely it. enjoying it some fine aquamarine rubbed uh-huh. venison. That's yes. right. Uh-huh. Aquamarine rubbed. Not sapphire. I prefer trail rations by sapphire. <laughs> eat, gonna eat that one. <laughs> I uh, pass along a flask to everybody as we eat meat. Thank you. Oh. I will take your flask, friend. What is your name again, friend? Bridget. Bridget. Yeah. Excellent. Bridget. Bridget what? Stumpfoot. Stumpfoot. Ah, the stumpfoot. Do you actually have Please. a stumpfoot? Our noble clan. F- I was one of the lucky few that did not get stump feet. Oh, that's excellent. That's why I'm hmm. so s- quick. Excellent. Because if I, I wouldn't be a rogue if I was. No, Boom. you would be clumpy. Yeah. Clumpy I used to date no a stump but foot, kept it on the down low. <sighs> Social scene. I am actually an oddball out of my family because I don't have stump feet. Uh-huh. Oh, I like that. All oddballs in my family get executed, so I am glad you are not in my family, though I welcome you <clears throat> as a comrade. I'm quite literate for a half-orc. And very funny. I appreciate it. Most half-orcs I know are pain in the ass to talk to. Wow, you are I an honest elf over there. Watch out, yeah. Watch out. <laughs> Eating well, mm. you find your way. As always. On a very rainy day to a castle. Sits up on a big plateau, off on the borderlands of two very big countries, Monarchia. Oh. I used to be an adventurer until I took an arrow to the knee. Some times are tough, but I should have enough mana left to summon the most acrobatic Thank you very much. You're well on your way to being very, very drunk. And the nation of Feudalaria. 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 In, they say- on the Kant continent of Questlandia. Right. So that we maintain. You know, right. Feud. Feudalaria and monarch something. Monarchia. And monarchia. It's actually on the democracy. It's confusing. <laughs> An area that, you know, doesn't see much traffic. So you expect, looking at this castle, that's old and weathered and worn and not very well kept up. <laughs> but it's the first real sign you've had. Any kind of shelter, warmth, comfort. I am fine killing more animals, but we could also head in there. We yeah. might also have more alcohol. Oh, yes. Mm. Definitely. Let's go inside and judge their alcohol. Sounds good. You climb up the steep, 
winding road that's covered in mud. Find a little gatehouse, drawbridge down, two guards. <laughs> I feel, I feel someone, someone needs to make, make like me on laundry day and pick up the slack. Hashtag meta point. And nobody. Oh, somebody jumps on it. Thank you very much, chat. Thank you, chat. Right on it. Ha ha! And uh, two guards two standing guards. out there. First uh, guard over on the left kind of looks to you and is like, uh, What's your business here? Food? We've been on the road. Good. Days. We need shelter. How's your ale? And beer. Beer. We've got beer. Great. But uh, things are rough around here. I hope you have coin. We might have coin. <laughs> Do we have coin? Absolutely. I just want to fuck it. We're sure. good on coin. So good. You're good on coin. That's, that's not what I wanted to hear. Oh. Very cool. Well, I don't need the coin. No. Just need to make sure you're paying customers. Yep. Sounds you, you look strong and able of body. Legit. We all are. Oh, except for maybe the wizard. You're adventurers. But don't worry then. What? Yep. Mm. Yeah. You're adventurers then? Questers. I enjoy killing things. Questers. You should definitely see the Lord of the Manor then. Because uh, we have many problems around here. Could huh. use good, strong help. I've been looking for a plot hook of late. Sounds good to me. That would be where you find it. And also probably get more money. That's true. That means more nibblies. Yep. I've always got nibblies in my pack. Just FYI. I wasn't going to say anything, but I'm glad you brought it up. Well, you all will know that. <laughs> Lots of nibblies. In ah, and coin! <laughs> Should we go see this? Uh, Lord of the Manor. I'm Olga, by the way. Olga. Sir Guard. A mighty fine dwarf, you be. Thank you, that's. Are you single? So my whole family says. Ah, I'm not telling you. <sighs> well, a humble guard has to try. Into the keep, to the right, through the bastion, you'll find the castle. Did somebody write that down? Ah! Keep. <laughs> Mental trap, right? right? Oh, yeah. Bastion. It's because we're small. Got it. Got it. But mighty. Yes. Onward. To the keep you go. To, to the, the lord of the keep. Thank you. Thank you, I'm gonna Take that one. I say yay for all those things too. Into the right, through the bastion, up to this old keep built into the back wall. And you know something's not quite right. As soon as you start approaching those steep steps up, you can hear music playing. You think it's music. And then you realize it's just one man's voice. Is he crying? Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Choo gets all the love. Thank you, Bruce. Yes. See, how much you, you, see how much you missed. We can all spend did, it. Did you know that we named something after you? Yeah, no, I was reading all the stuff during my okay, DD cool. stuff yesterday. See. <laughs> Gotta do something during the fights. Uh -oh. More Oh, Thank you. you. A hack attack. She okay. said this guy is singing. Singing. What's he singing? Is it catchy? Um, you know, there, there's really only one thing that you can recognize in the singing. And that's... Yeah, that just happened. <laughs> At least that's, that's for real. This is well seasoned. Thank you. Venison. Ghost. Now I gotta work on my my mommy deer voice. <laughs> Could have been a daddy. You gotta, deer. Pick a, you gotta pick a voice for it. Where are you gonna go? Are you gonna go thumper? Are you gonna uh, go, yeah, high or, or a flower or uh 
Did Bambi ever actually speak? Mm-mm. Yeah, Bambi spoke yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little bit, especially so, when he got I older. I think he had like less than five words. Like a sweet little Bambi voice. Oh, that's true. Or he could be like the big daddy deer that's like always do a Scottish at him. brogue. Oh. Something unexpected for a deer. <laughs> I would say Irish. Irish. I can't do Scottish. You had a bit of a little. I can't really do Irish. French deer. I think. French deer. <laughs> 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 Every time she swings a sword, we'll go with, oh, oh you miss. <laughs> Mamzelle. That's the deer. Mamzelle. That's the deer. Oh, excuse me, Mamzelle. Like a spicy little deer. Goes. Does anyone else hear this? Hear what? What? Oh. There's a strange French thing talking to me. Yep, don't speak the language, sorry. Like can a I, recipe? Can I see it? Do I see oh, it's the a, ghost? It's, oh yeah, it's a ghosty deer oh, and it's great. walking. Mm-hmm. Right behind you, keeps kind of nudging so your good. elbow. I keep like trying to decapitate it again. Olga, you okay over there? I'm, I'm Olga. great. That's hell Actually, yeah, Olga. It's okay. Hell yeah. I may have had too much ale. That never happened. Before. The deer, almost <laughs> seemingly as if he was advancing, hot, rings a bell. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much, Jet. Um, was... the, the deer rings a bell. The ghostly deer rings yeah, a bell. You heard it, didn't you? I heard no, it. No, it goes running up the stairs. Oh, okay. Towards the in, singing? Into the key. Towards Did everybody the see that? What? No, but I hear the singing. We should go check it out. All right. Let's go. Hell yeah. Elf. Hell yeah. Bridget. Olga. You hit the top of the stairs. You head through the door into the Great Hall, and there's big fire on the right in a hearth, and there's a big mm. fire on the left. It's way too much fire for the one man that's dancing in the middle, wearing a pot helm on his head. Now you seem like a fine and upstanding gentleman. How are you doing? He whips around almost immediately. He's like, <laughs> who led you in here? What's, what's your business? The deer. The door was open. Came up the, the stairs. The guards told us to come find the... Why are you interrupting my song? Manor. Are you the Lord of the Manor? Y- yes, I'm Lord Devereux. Also, apologies for interrupting the song. You're Lord Devereux? Devereux. Devereux. Devereux? Devereux. Yes, we'll go with Devereux. Devereux? That way we don't, um, you know... Yeah, don't cross, cross streams too much. You mind if I grab some of that applesauce off the table? There's plenty of applesauce around here for I anybody who's it. hungry. It's convenient. Assuming I'm you, hungry. Assuming that you are adventurous. You adventurous? Yeah, we like because we in a we in a bit of a pickle. Oh, we got we got a big pickle. Get some of that applesauce. A pickle? Pick, like a big pickle? Like an actual pickle? Oh, do you see any pickles around here? You There's pickle, no barrels. Pickle in your pocket. Something wrong with you, girl? Probably. Hashtag demand above for the love sound effects. Hi, thank you. Thank you very much, Chef. You guys rock. Because it just so happens that I have a problem. My people here were poor. We don't have any supplies because we're being pestered by bandits. We will kill them. By what? Oh. The bandits. bandits. First we have to bandits? see if they... Uh, marauders? Marauders. 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 I'm pretty sure marauders are done. Well, then they must be bandits. Must be bandits. They could be spies, but I'm pretty sure they're bandits. It what does not they... matter to me what they are. I will kill them. What have they been doing? Well, the bandits is... Uh, the bandit. The bandit. See, anybody that travels this way is merchants, travelers. Sure. They stealing everything from them. Stealing. Are they harming others? They don't hurt them. Well, sometimes if they resist. They will be hurt by me. Gladly help steal stuff so back from, from the Lord of the land, and there is but one question, question really asked here. Did you forget, forget your emergency pants? Hashtag attack. Hashtag is it not a key? What? What? Explain. Uh, they're building towards a head. They're building, building towards a head. Towards a head. You can take that one off. No, no. Oh, yeah. I mean, the one yes. that's oh, right. the is going to be sorry. pestering you for the rest of the I forgot I was doing that one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Back on it. Uh, yes, they banded in, and they, they, we know where they are, but we don't, I don't have any soldiers. I got, I got four gods. Four gods here. You know what they are? They're the former bandits. Let me catch it. No, so, the people you have working for you are not really even on your side. No, no, they are. They're good people now. Once we caught them. Because I could murder them for you if you needed that. We we conscripted them soon. Hell yeah. And we made them our friends. But these ones aren't friends, and they're up at some caves, the chaotic caves. Crazy chaotic caves. Crazy caves? Chaotic caves. Crazy chaotic caves. Chaotic caves. I like that little Northeast. Well, I'm I'm intrigued. I wasn't doing anything today, so it sounds good. I am ready for some destruction and violence. Can we just stop for a meal first? Just full-bellied? We've got lots of applesauce and lots of honey. 
It's true. Little, little I bit see more you some more applesauce. applesauce. It's so convenient. Thank you. Ooh, a good you must be a wizard. How do you keep doing that? Ah, oh. some chutney. Chutney? What is chutney? Put it in a pastry? Yeah. It's like jam. A little pasty? A little pasty. Huh. One of my nibbles. Some more nibbles. A pasty some nibbles. for your nibbles? <laughs> like some, uh, yep. I mean, nice meat pie. A pasty for her nipples? That's Chicken something leg. I would expect from a dwarf. It's meat pie, not not pastry. Chutney. Oh, pasty. <laughs> a pasty. Pasty. I'll explain. We'll talk recipe later, okay? After you deal with the bandits. After we deal with the bandits. That's a good idea. I think there's other thing the bandits up to too, though. We have some problems with goblins. Oh. I will kill the goblins. Trolls. Oh, I will shit. kill the trolls. Trolls! There's a big troll that wanders around. So His name is trolls. Bruce. I will flay Bruce like a old thing that needs flaying. He's got a little imp that travels around with him. I will kill the imp. His name is Crowley. Crowley? Crowley. Crowley? Yes. Crowley the imp. Crowley the imp will pay. Is he a fur? No, Crowley might not no, be No, he's bad. an imp. Not a fur. Wait, did you imp? say that there was an imp named Crowley? An imp named Crowley with the troll named Bruce. He doesn't have any fur. Yeah, no, it's, yep. From hey, Bruce and Crowley. From, from what I've heard. It's a dumb, dumb troll. I mean, it puts other dumb trolls to dumb. I mean, it's a shame. Yeah, I'm a little scared of trolls, but this troll sounds kind of like a easy troll. Like a big teddy bear. Let know. us go. It's easy to find if you just head north out of the castle. About three miles away, there's a cave. The chaotic caves, though, I gotta tell you. you can, chaotic you can caves. Be careful while you're up there. All right, let's go to these zany caves. But if you take care of the bandits. Sounds good. Let's take care of it. I'll let yeah. you marry my daughter. I do not Wait, want to marry your daughter. Which one of... I want to kill things. Somebody, please marry my daughter. She, is she a good person? Well, she's a wonderful person. Oh, she's my daughter. Okay. What do you think I'd say? She was snotty? Or Rochambeau it? Is it the winner or the loser? The winner. Okay, just making sure. Uh, Looks elf. like you're going to be married if, yeah. uh, if you take yeah, care of me. I'm not doing anything. Bad. Getting hit sounds about right. Does she not get a say in this? That's a strange question. Why would she have a say in this? She's a, she's a sentient being. She's got rights too. But I'm the king of these lands. You don't get to tell everybody to do whatever they want. It's not how it works? No. Oh, that's weird. You have to tell me more about that when you get back. Totally. I love this idea. I have a whole lesson. My lesson is called this big ass sword. Hell yeah! It's a big ass sword. So you head north. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I want to head north towards South Haven. <laughs> How did you know? I had a hunch. <clears throat> About three miles north, exactly as planned, you see a ravine starting to form off to the left of the road. And through the trees in the distance, you can see on the walls of these caves, or the walls of the ravine, numerous caves. And they are crazy. Those are chaotic. This is zany. Zany. There's zany, zany cave holes? Hmm? There's zany holes in the cave wall? What? No, no, no. In the ravine, there are cave holes. And they're crazy okay. The mouth. That's where chaotic. we're supposed to go? Yeah. Somewhere in there? Yeah, okay, let's check it out. Jump down there. Jump down into the ravine. No, I mean, figuratively. I would like to bellow my loudest in an intimidating call to call out any foes who wish to die. Because I have intimidation. Be bellow away. I'm going to use a meta point. No, I'm not. Frack. <laughs> Are there no more meta points? No more meta points. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. I intimidate well. There should be one more because I like yeah, that you one. Do. I intimidate well. I beat it by five. E e e can you, you, can you give us your barbarian bellows? Sure. Emerge! <laughs> Infidels, I will kill you. I like it when you hold it like it's a rifle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, emerge! The props are great. I, I nobody it. will ever see that coming no. in combat. They'll be like, she's going to slash me. No, <laughs> she's going to point it at me and go like and this. Go like this. I like from, style. from the nearest cave <laughs> down to the left, you hear a roar. A roar. Sounds like an angry roar. Excellent. Yeah, what kind of roar? Does roar? it sound more humanoid or animal? Sounds more... Trollian. Trollian? Could it be Bruce? I speak Trollian. What? Yo. I do. It's on my sheet. Bruce, is that you? I think I do too. Yeah, if, if it says times whatever, yeah. whatever languages become convenient. Ah, 
Good. <laughs> Here in Questlandia, that's Andy. how language acquisition Maybe works. Bruce. Acquisition. Oh, for Bruce and... Well, I'm so, glad that I can understand the language as well, so mm-hmm. we know the elf is telling the Someone! Truth. Call out Bruce! Bruce! Oh no, you 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 see Bruce. Excellent. Bruce is about 12 feet tall. I chop top. him at his knees. Holy Just right away? Holy Just... We, but... Sir yeah. Troll! <laughs> I will wait until my friends talk like to him, and then I will chop yeah. him at his knees. Is, is he doing? Is he... He's coming out of the cave. Toward... On his shoulder. It's a little... Yeah. Maybe a foot tall. Maybe that two. must be the Crowley. Nice he's holding Crowley. on like he's riding a mount. Oh. And the and the big troll is like. Oh, there we go. Yes, I like, I like that. that. What is my uh, dear friend doing as well? Just taunting me. Your dear friend is just currently walking behind you quietly. Mm. <clears throat> As it should be. What? What? Nothing. Okay. Bruce! Bruce! Oh, Bruce! Bruce! Yeah, okay. <laughs> because <laughs> Thank you, Maggie! Maggie! Oh, Maggie. oh yeah, Christian and Maggie are in chat. Thanks, Christian and Maggie. If yes. Thank you. Thank you. It, it you echoes your it. words you, exactly every time you Thank say, you, Bruce! Guys. Bruce! Bruce. Say hey, you guys. Hey. <laughs> hey, you guys. Bruce. That didn't work. Hi, Crowley. Who goes there? Who are you? What are you doing here at our caves? We found the brains. We of the are operation. supposed to exterminate you. Prepare what? to fight. That would be bad. Why? Because I would have to kill you. Oh, bring it. I, I think we just established our intention is the reverse <laughs> of what you've proposed. No, I have the Bruce. I have the this. The Bruce was. Look at the size of him. She will totally point this at you like nobody's business. All right, everyone. (laughs) Bruce, uh, Crowley. Crowley, that is Bruce. I am Crowley. The Lord of the Manor has sent us to. What manor? Of Lord. The big one that is south. Uh, Johnny Appleseed. South, down in North Haven, down south. Down south in North Haven. Oh, the big one on the cliff. Yep. Yep, That was one. We do not care about him. He cares about you. It is time to kill you. No. <gasps> well, he would like us to take care of you. You know, us? take care. Why? What did not we like do? Give you. What did we do? We did nothing. You're stealing things. We are not. You are bandits. We are not. They are the bandits. Who are the Where bandits? Really, you've been ter- terrorizing people. Wait, you're saying the people in the keep are the bandits? No, no, in the cave over there behind you. Oh. What are you? I'm an imp. Well, that's that much is true. Yeah, well, is it, and he the, is a troll. What are the other caves? Oh, there are minotaurs. I have interrogation. There are goblins down over there below us. I have, oh. I have interrogation as Jenica I want to see, and psychiatry. I want to see if he's telling the truth. Good idea. Roll it. Okay. It's very difficult because you're not very familiar with imps' facial troll? structure. And, oh, but you can give it a shot. Common, right? huh? I got a four. I beat it by ten. Oh, well, you're fairly certain he's being honest. All right. He seems as to be a, a very sincere what? imp. Great. Actually, I rolled the wrong dice because I'm in the wrong spot. Hold on. Oops. And I have to add two. Wait. Nope. I didn't. I didn't. You didn't make it. You're uncertain. I am uncertain. He may but, not tell the truth or not. Strangely enough, due to the metaverse being what it is, <laughs> Sorry. you might have a hint that he's being honest. Sorry. All right. Well. So is it this bandits, these what? other caves, and minotaurs and stuff? Yes, there are many bad things around here. Uh, they're like, always trying to take Bruce's food. And sounds they're like, worse than you. Why do you have this Bruce if you are not well, bad? He's so tiny, he needs somebody big. He, Bruce is my brute. Yeah. Bruce protects him. He looks no. like a nice guy. Hi, Bruce. Bruce! See? Bruce. I still don't trust them. But I want to kill things, so let's go kill things behind us. So you're you're saying wait so I, why I forget why the Lord of the Manor or whatever one of them did anyway yeah time bubble ah, that's, See? that's the chat God's two help it help ah. it's gone <laughs> I heard nothing with your nibbles just my nibbles talking in my backpack your pasties I have a, pasties I have an invisible pasties. deer that is talking to me as well can we can we time bubble back to uh. We didn't give you that power this the week. Lord of the Manor said, Darn. 
There are bad bandits. We need to kill them. Why would the Lord of the Manor want you dead? Because I legitimately forget what he said, if anything, other than that he was trying to shuffle off his daughter on us in a most unappealing way. Because he is afraid of us. Why is he you afraid of you? You are them. If you're not a threat, why is he afraid of you? Who well, can I kill? I have to feed Bruce. What do you feed Bruce? Oh. Cows, mostly. Got it. Do, well, it was do, mostly is a do you take the cows deceptive that, word. I'm assuming aren't yours. We take the cows out in the field. Okay. okay. So maybe we can figure out a sexy tiger shows up to distract Crowley. Hashtag Geneva. Oh, hello. Hello. I know who that came from. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank Crowley's you, tiger. Right. The maybe we tiger. can convince right. the Lord of the Manor after we kill some bandits during our talk to allow them to take cows to feed Bruce. Do you have anything to pay for the cows with? Uh, who are you talking to? I don't know. Crowley. 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 He's not well, there anymore. You don't see Crowley. Oh, because he's distracted. You can see a little bit of movement behind Bruce's leg. Wait, what? Oh, oh, it's a tiger. It's, it's basically Crowley's tail, and it seems to be just kind of doing something That's behind funny. Bruce. While the tiny one is distracted, I suggest we kill the brigands <laughs> behind us. Sure. He did ask us to take care of bandits too, didn't he? Yeah. Yes. I think that was the major part of this whole thing. There are bad bandits. Let us kill them. Well, you seem, if not trustworthy, at least innocuous for now. So sure, why not? Yeah. We'll talk later about uh, uh, Bruce. Bruce. Okay. Bye, Bruce. We'll talk later, Bye, Bruce. Bruce. All right? Bruce. Think you're really a good boy. I'm a good boy. Good boy. Bruce. Just, is Crowley speaking to us at all right now? No. Um, busy, can't talk now. Okay, I just want to later on establish that when he says cows, he means the same thing that we mean when we say cows. The cows is not a cows, euphemism. Yummy. Like mooing Moo. animals. I want to establish that we're on the same wavelength, Beef. that cow is not like a nickname for, you know, South Havians. Moo. I believe it is just beef. I just want to make sure it's what's for dinner. Let's go kill things. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Bandits! Crazy caves! Behind so us. yeah, turn around about 10, 20 feet up. There's one cave. I want to set a fireball into the cave. Just like what? that? Yep. Elf. Just like that. Yep. All right. Roll it. What if that's the wrong I whoop in victory. It's kind of fun <laughs> not be the responsible <laughs> one for a moment. <laughs> okay. Cut it. That was a hell of a roll. I think <laughs> roll was crap. Did you hit Crowley? Uh, <laughs> he might have hit himself. <laughs> I'm going to use my buffs so that I actually make this roll because I missed it by enough that I don't want to see what happens. You have a buff? <laughs> How much did you, you miss on my buff? Patreon buff? Oh. I made it by one now. You made it by one? Yep. You launch your fireball. Alakaflambe! It launches out right into the... I mean, you know, it's a big cake. It's about 12 feet high, about 7 feet wide. Eight, no, reverse that. About 7 feet high, about 12 feet wide. She launches right in, you see the flash, the flare, and you hear some scream. There will be more of that if you do not come out, cowards. Wah ha ha. I say. Hmm. Intimidatingly. Guess we're getting to know each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> getting to know you is getting to love you. It is not time for that. Let us kill. And you see two men. <laughs> like Half these you. later. You're already betrothed though, so. Well, you know, it's more of an open relationship at the moment. We haven't okay. really discussed the details. I'm just making assumptions. Elves live a long time. Fair um, enough. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, like, you don't start this too off long. with the meta meltdown, since we're uh-huh. about to roll into combat. Sounds good. Let's get Somebody, to know uh, each other roll better. me a six-sided dice. We'll let Chris do it, since he's the former GM. He doesn't have a six-sided dice. Uh, but I've got one I can divide into. Uh, that would be a four. Okay. Uh, that many spaces to the left. So two, one, three. two, three. I get to keep my own. Go. Cool. No, you can't. It'd be three. This is how it works. Shush. Pass out. You sh- We'll do it one now. Three. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> wait, three? So two. yours goes to Sarah. Oh, what's going to happen? Yours goes to Chris. Yours goes Hell yeah! I'm older. Mm-hmm. I want your robe. You want your robe. <coughs> it made no sense at all. It's Bridget's dagger. And two bandits. Ah-ha! Sharpie. Jeez. Come here, bandits. Come running out of the cave, <laughs> screaming. Yeah. On fire. On fire. The 
That's right. Bet you don't like that. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming initiative. <laughs> that will roll to initiative now since. Uh, and I add my ACV. ACV. 2 die 12 plus your ACV. 29. Do you remember wrong? Uh, 2 12 plus your ACV. 29, you say? Yes. Who's next? 30! 30! As well, 30! 30. 30! I was so happy with my roll! 25. You still beat Chris. 25? Yes, yes. Well, you know, wow. wizards uh, aren't big on the initiative thing, it's alright. Alright. <laughs> Bandits. <clears throat> Vanessa and QQ, who'd like to go first? What are you doing? I'll go first. Um, actually, no, you can go first. Ha <laughs> okay! First bandit, the one that's on fire closest to me. Up the hill. That's the You can charge. You can charge, you can that charge bandit. and get to them. All right, that's what I'm doing. All right. Right roll, now. Roll your attack roll. Oh! I rolled a 14. So that's on it. On it is all you need. He's a little distracted right now. Because he's on fire! You're welcome. Well done, wizard. That was brilliant. Mm. What's the damage? 56. Oh, that is more than enough to end this poor, lit up, <laughs> on fire. <laughs> Barbarian, uh, bandit. Oh, so you like the idea now. Uh, what? What? Did I miss something? <laughs> She licked her sword. It's fiery oh, bandit blood. I missed that. I live on it. <laughs> Hell yeah! That's oh, one. I like it. We'll go ahead and call that one. Let's get it started now. QQ, what are you going to do? I am going to rush after my companion here and hit the next available bandit. The other bandit. Yes. Roll those bones and let's see what you do. That's it. D10? Is that two? What? D10, yep. Just one or two? Two of them. And it says I have a one point bonus to all rolls in an encounter where Olga's initiative is better than the elf. Oh, yes. Yes. Mine, too. No, yours is plus one if you're better than the dwarf. Oh. But she's a dwarf. Oh, I didn't do it. It's right. that whole elf dwarf rivalry thing. I got it. So whichever one of them rolls higher gets That's a bonus. That's a little then plus one bo- point is that that would be minus one, right? Plus one to what's on your sheet. So yeah, it's a bonus to you. So make it better how, uh, however it makes you, yeah, your you math Yeah, you can either add it right. to this, the score that you have on your sheet. Because I rolled a 12 and I needed a 12. So, so, so you, you break your one. 12 to a 13 and, and you, you rolled a 12, one. so you beat it by one. Okay. How much do you do in damage? 38. That is more than enough to uh, whack that burning on fire. Ooh, that was right a gross sound. Right, right in the, the noggin. Yep. Right down the hill. You hear, since you two are close, cries of alert coming from inside the cave. Oh, yeah, let him know. More fireballs. Tell them we're here. Two arms, two arms. We're being attacked. Everyone's got two arms. Hell yeah, you are. (laughs) I have an area attack that's 10 meters, burning five rounds, homing times two. I want to home it into the cave and just burn the it's cave. The fireball. You can't see anything inside the cave, so you couldn't really... Can I burn the entrance of the cave? cave? Sure, you could shoot it's something it's right the in the I have a very... fireball. Oh, no, I was saying this is the fireball. Those are the this. attributes of the fireball. Ew. I want to do the fireball again in the cave. Right into the cave to see if you can catch some more? Yeah. He does fireballs and telekinesis. That's it. And I want fireballs, obviously. Fireballs. Since you have nothing to telekinesis. Correct, because everybody is dead. I could telekinesis some bodies, but I feel like the heart fireball might do better. They make good weapons. I could, if they're, are they still on fire? Well, smoldering. Could I light one of them more on fire with a fireball and then send it into the cave as Not like a warning? Time. Okay, then I'm just fireball. I missed. Wait. Yeah, I missed. How much did you miss by? Five. Um, your fireball goes high, just above the caves where the ravine sort of slopes. Uh-huh. It's a small stand of trees, <laughs> I got which you just successfully lit on fire. Ah, very pretty. 
<sighs> Chris. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing, sir? Uh, is there anything stabbable? Uh, two smoldering corpses at the bottom of the hill. Are they dead? It's hard to tell when they're, you know, loot smoldering them. and smoking. Oh, they're dead. Oh, I want to loot them. You want to loot them? Of course. Is there anything lootable? Um, sure. There's there's definitely lootables on them. Yeah. Are you taking your time looting them, or are you just doing a quick... Well, it's not, they're hot. It's really I hot. mean, they are hot. Potato. Potato. Let me see if there was anything, you know, worth taking. <laughs> I'm not sure I found the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> he got a 19. You were oh, looking 19. under the smoldering corpses, and there's yeah. there's no bodies. Yeah, there. I don't I don't think I'm aware they, of where the bodies are. They, no, no, you found the bodies clearly. Um, you just uh, like the pouch that mm-hmm. you found on one. You're pretty sure that was coin, but now it, it's, it's pretty much together. gooey. Maybe if you come back in you know 30 minutes, it'll be cool enough that you can take that Patrick. chunk ha! of ha! mixed ha! coin. Ha! That's not happening. Wow. Um, you hear many from all this more <laughs> cries <laughs> yeah. of alert from under. inside the cave. Just, there must just be this one cave is crying out alert. Inside, you can hear voices. Must be at least a dozen, maybe two. This must be a deep cave. Are it they coming out yet? No, not yet. They're just crying in there. I I could <laughs> throw another fireball. Yelling. Crying as in pain or crying as in. Ah! Are you in pain or are you just crying? Torch him. Two arms! Oh. I say we stand back for Let fireballs. Let him up, up. Wizard up. friend. Well, it's also our turns, I think. Right? Yeah. It is your turn. It is. They, they seem. Still? That seems to be their turn. That's Maybe they're Russian. approaching the entrance to the cave. You don't know. Stand to the side of the cave as you approach. I'm going to throw another fireball. Yep. Oh, all right. All right. Get him with your fireball. <laughs> so you guys are gonna hold your actions yeah. and We're move to the side of the cave. Yeah, yep. let's do that. Side. I cackle. And you're gonna throw another <laughs> fireball. Um, I'm gonna use some QQ room. Ah, do it. Delish. Need fourteen. I'm gonna use three QQ brews so I can have two, so I can hit it right off. I will Six. fix that in just one second. Okay. Thank you, chat. <clears throat> and thank you, chat. That way, Vanessa's character and QQ don't get lit on fire. Yes. Very important. Um, ha, I, did, yeah. I, I did say stand to the side. <laughs> We're over here to the side now. <laughs> um, they are, however, when that fireball hits just inside the cave mouth at the roof, mm-hmm. since you're down here on sure. the ravine floor, you might want to put those that corner of your cloak out. Sorry. I like it. My bad. Um, I'm alive. Are your actions before Chris's? What are you going to do? Are you doing anything? No one's coming out yet. So Not yet. I say we rush in. Let's go in there. Let's just run in. Let's bash some heads. Yeah, let's. let's I'll make sure that you stay thing. alive too at the same time. If anything happens, I'll make sure to ask the sword again if I want to lick it. Get consent. It's important. <clears throat> Uh, we're gonna, uh, since we have 30. Around the corner together, yep. charge right in. Cave goes in about 15 feet. And then s- cuts to the right, cuts to the left. You see no bodies or people at that T intersection. So are you just gonna run to the end of the T intersection or are you gonna pick a direction and pull a okay. hair, a, a hand yo-yo? Can't go further without the rest of our Yeah. Team. Never split the party. So, we'll, we'll wait. Hashtag Thomas, because Chris appears to be slowly imploding. Oh, yeah. Clearly, it is you, Nickelback, being able to take a sample. Oh. Oh. Be sure to take a sample. That was music reference. Oh, and we have another. That was sharp. We are Teddy! Mm. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Thank you, Chad. We look forward to it. I'm worried now. Anxious? Yes. It's a worrying <laughs> thing. You're so like, is it time for us to chase after the rest of our team? Uh, is it? They seem to be 
<laughs> running into the cave, but then slowing to a stop. I have already shot a fireball. I will wait. I will happily climb up, clamber after them with my acrobatics. Yeah, come on! And Whoa. your stumpy little feet. And actually make that roll. And, uh, and start uh, going in sneakily, stealthily into the cave. She's the oddball. We need to stick together. So are you just short of the... Probably the fork. Like right at the T... Yeah. Where it yeah, goes to the right, the to the fork. left. On your turn, you both can make perception checks. You gotta hit it or better. Doesn't matter as long as you beat your perception check. If you don't have perception listed, it's equal to your mind roll. Your mind attribute, I should say. I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Which, way. Actually. <clears throat> There's no way. Oh! Magnets, how does nope. it work? Nope. Nope. Are we, so we're still You still, you're, you're, hell no. These hell no, here. you didn't hear nothing. Definitely not. So uh, you are going to get up to them. Um, and right as the little halfling makes it up there, from the right hand, well, your right hand side, four. Bandits, armed with short swords. Short swords. Ring about. <gasps> System shock. Yeah. Thank you very much, Shad. You can take and away the metal. What a, what a right. perfect moment. We're and two, three of the cute keepers. Hi. So we're still in our and, uh, uh, we meltdown characters right uh, now. Or are we back to our normal people? Um, throw a dagger. On this round, actually. You're the only one, you went, he climbed. So we're back at the beginning of the round, so back to your normal character. Thank you. I finally did the flip. (laughs) Let us kill these bandits. That was good. You take your lives in your hands when you come to fight us. (laughs) Let's do it, team. My name is not Helia for no reason. Hell yeah. I like you. Kick off a, kick off a sick t- system shock for me. Um, QQ, you're going three to the left. <laughs> it's rough, those system shocks. Vanessa, you are going right to the middle. Back to the Uh-oh. middle. For now. You are going two to the left. You're going to full avatar. <laughs> hey, Chris, uh, one meta point and three QQ brews should be gone. Thank you, that's right. You're so honest. <clears throat> yes, four bandits. Short swords in hand. Come around the corner charging. You two are in the front, you're in the back, and you're, well, sorry. I'm in the very, very back. You two are in the front. You're in the back, you're still down the hill. Yeah. I'm gonna start climbing yeah. up the hill towards the entrance. <laughs> Make a climbing check. Looking for something to eat the whole time. There we go. Climbing check. That's not gonna go well. Telekinesis. That's telekinesis, Kyle. Telekinesis, you just move yourself up there. I feel inspired to try telekinesis on myself <laughs> and uh, launch myself upward towards the entrance. You do so, so gracefully. It's amazing. I do, in fact. Elf. <clears throat> Vanessa and QQ. Oh. Oh, wait, they- I should announce, I gotta, I believe I can fly Gazam. <clears throat> um, they are taking swings That's at the a- two of you. The two in front. Defense roll. Okay. And when we're in combat, you can't move, do meta points until it's your turn. Okay. So I'm sort of effed. Uh, defense for you. Yeah. Hold. Is this melee attacks? It is a melee attack. They're swinging the sword. Oh, I beat that. I By got how much? On it. On it. You did. Well, you know what? They missed theirs so badly. You're going to get a counter attack. Oh wait, I have to add two because I'm over here. So I be- lost by two. So. Oh, you don't get an, a counter attack. All right. Oh, I lost it. I did not pass my roll. Um, how much did you miss it by? Three. 
They missed. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Ducked out of that one. <laughs> Hell yeah. The other two are attacking you, oh. and one of them actually slipped between you two and is coming for you. Defensive check. He is going to hit if you do not get this. Is it a melee attack? Yep, he's swinging a short sword at you. Fuck. <laughs> Everyone's following a three. Yeah, that's not going to help. Yeah, no, he definitely. So you missed? Yeah. Uh, 17 points damage. You can M Dog it. That's where you get to use three die instead of two. So you can reroll the 12. One. You know you're going to do better than you just did. So that's seven, and I need, it's a 12. So the new, the new one was a new roll was a seven? So four. So seven total? Seven total, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So you're good. Plus then. two, so. <coughs> nine, then, yeah. then you're not going to take that uh, that damage. The beans. Thank you, chat. What's your and and the second oh. attack was she's on here. you. We're oh, rolling 12 right? Two. Gotcha. Me? Oh, no, it was on you. What? Yeah. Never mind. Four the so fourth bandit misses wild. I taunt him. Do and then you? I'm assuming the deer taunts me. Well, the deer's getting ready. Really really either way. Oh, okay. Right. Stupid bandit. That's basically all I have. <laughs> that brings us back to Vanessa and QQ. Oh, but I need to do this first. Oh, don't forget to take the M-Dog away. All right. Oh, all right, really so weird. I am... Oh, I'm way over here. What just happened? You guys have buffs so you can use them. Yes. I'm going to on my turn. It's not my turn. You my hear a, uh, a cacophony of movement. I'm using Thank two you. metal points. Coming from the left. Spot. It sounds like a lot of bandits coming down a long stone floored hallway. Some of them screaming, yelling their battle cries. Okay. And we hear that down at the entrance to the cave as well. You are at the entrance, so you can see the 15 feet down where they're fighting kind of about 10 feet in. And the sound seems to be coming from past them and on the left. Oh, 10 feet, that's not too far away. Maybe we should back up a little bit. When, when, when is your guys' turn? Right now it is uh, Vanessa and QQ's turn. Well, I'm all at the, the, the back with the wizard. Because Right, well, yeah. you're... I, yeah, I thought I had you at about halfway yeah, down okay, the 15 yeah, yeah. foot hallway. So it's like the wizard, you, and then the two of them down right. at the very end. All right. I am ready on my turn to rush into the noisy hallway and to exterminate everyone. What do, we, what do we back out a little bit so that there's room for them to come out of and then we'll be closer to our compatriots? I could stand at the, the entrance and just slash as like they come. Move I back. am going to try and stab the one that tried to stab me. That that sounds like a fabulous idea. My dagger. That is right on the nose for 11 to hit. Right on the nose? Yep. Oh, he dodges away from it. <clears throat> Whiff. Love that. Um, Who's up next? Okay. Next would be the dwarf. I'm moving. You're backing up to more where? Yeah. Or all the way to the entrance where? I'm backing up all the way to the entrance. So I can see everything and help out with my, you know, my safety truth. The home half orc and, rager. And healing. But you got this, Helia. I want You're to heal You're now facing girl. two Great. men on your own. So I'm going to use two meta points. And I'm going there to. There shouldn't be any left after that. I and I'm to. going to use my Janika Boof. Janika Boof. Janika Boof. Uh huh. Uh, because then I get. Oh, sorry. Then I get. Uh, Do you know I just noticed something? Mm. Isn't it Janika Boof? Yes, it's Janika Buff, but yes. it's called Janika Boof. And that's how I remember Janika's name is because it's the way Because of the buff. Mm-hmm. See, and here I was thinking we were just saying Janika's wrong na- no. na- name no. wrong now, no. like we were no. saying. No, she's Janika. Janika is the actress, <laughs> yeah. but the computer wants to say Janika. Janika. Am I correct in assuming that I can both intimidate and use my greatsword? Oh, yes, most certainly. Sweet. Um, to be perfectly honest, because these men are side by side and you're using such a big sword, you could, with a modifier, a- attempt a single attack to hit them both. For sure. 
Um, so I would like to intimidate the entire cavern of bandits. Well, you can make an intimidation roll and and depending on what you And slice the two bandits that I can see. Give it a shot. Okay. Your intimidation roll first, since I'm assuming you're giving a barbarian. It's kind of at the same time. Ah, you yep. will all pay for your insolence. I will decapitate every single one of you. Oh, it's a long soliloquy mm-hmm. intimidation. Very literate half work. Mm-hmm. Very well schooled. Mm-hmm. She actually has cultural arts literature as a skill. Wow. That's the half human part, mm-hmm. obviously. Um, I beat but, it by seven. You beat it by seven. Mm-hmm. The intimidation roll. Mm-hmm. Nicely done. Um, all right, well, uh, these two that are right in front of you um, are, aren't went. even going to get their defensive rolls on this one. They, you, they, you, they uh, pooped a little bit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> now I slice them as they've defiled the cavern <laughs> with their feces. Bowels. <laughs> I beat um, that by nine. Whoa. But I was just getting ready to tell you. Sorry. Um, you're going to take a five-point penalty. I beat it by four. <laughs> as um, <laughs> the French deer. Oh. Mm-hmm. Grabs onto your wrist <laughs> ah, to bite you with its ghost. It's just cold, chill like this icy. Ah! I go to punch it as I slice. So I'm like, oh. well, it's ghost. Oh. So I, I still am going to punch it. She Something punches at her wrist. Half work. I punch at the space where the face while is swinging your sword spacey. and intimidating people. Uh, I'm very multi talented. You multitasking is definitely a skill that women have. <laughs> and I'm all woman. And you beat your roll by four. Um, so you are going to hit the first one, but you're going to hit the second one so lightly it's not going to do any damage. What is your damage, please? 56. F- 56. Mm. Oh. Um, that one does not exist anymore. Maybe no, he does. I have more attacks? I have more attacks. Oh, you do. So now you want to carry that swing through to the other one and yes. actually take a second attack? Yep. Um, your first again. sword blade actually hits this guy in the side, <laughs> digs in deep, and I mean, you see this shower of blood come get, out as I, he staggers back, clutching it, but he's still up. Do I get to see entrails? No, no. Oh. You can't Save him for the soup later! I will. I continue that same stroke so that I, cause I want to see the entrails of the first one and I want it to continue into the second one. My goal is to slice him right through the belly and so get the So kind of draw hack cut. Him. Yes. Hack him again. So he, well she's All probably right. already in, she's probably just gonna, yes. I'm just gonna muscle it up just gonna and do it. Cause. Like that. <sighs> Gun show part Flex. Two. Um, I'm gonna use my Patreon buff so that I beat it by a four. Twenty-eight more points of damage on the first one. And she has one more attack after this, too. <laughs> and uh, yes. twenty-eight points to the second bandit. Do I see entrails yet? Uh, the first guy, um, you don't see entrails exactly. Something sort of goes, <laughs> kind of opening the wound up and sort of tries to come out. And there's like this really cool. 300 style whoosh, of blood. That's a great idea. I like this. Thank you. I don't know what the hack attack is yet. But I'm, I'm sure excited. we'll find out when they get there. I know. <clears throat> Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Chad. Parachute, bubblegum, flex, stab, vape. Oh, sorry. I saw something and I just had to say it. Uh, you have to. Cut, you just have to. Flex, yeah, I don't know what it is about it. When bubble I see it on it, there, it just. Stab. Yeah. It's a requirement. Um, yeah, so there's this beautiful red shower of blood. You've got really nice red breeches now. Delightful. Um, the, I bathe in the blood of my enemies joyfully. The <laughs> blow on the uh, second Good bandit, news, however, <laughs> doesn't really do much. I mean, it does enough that you know you got some okay. cut through armor. So I've done this. So now I'm going to go like this. <laughs> oh, so you, you, you've done this. And then you're gonna. And now then I'm gonna go like this because I'm imagining that there's this one guy here, and I've mostly ripped through him. And then there's this guy right here, and I want to start 
more of the ripping through with him and hopefully get to the, the second guy and get a loopy purple entrail to come out because I really want to. You just, really want the I hole. I really want. You want the, I want that the thing where the hole just yeah. in I want, the stomach goes I want the plop intestine. on the ground. I specifically want the intestine. I have a perfect recipe for you. I have a plan for the intestine. You, you have a plan. Oh, oh you already have a plan. Okay. Um, Would you like to use a close call? Oh, wait, that's... I don't have a close call. I don't have enough of any. <laughs> uh, wait! Jenica. No. I already used Jenica. <gasps> I have two rerolls per session! Praise the Lord. That's better! I beat it by one. <laughs> you beat it by one? <laughs> What's your damage again? 56? 56. <laughs> Um, well, with the damage that you did on the other side, you cleave it right into his arm enough that this little bit of skin right here. It's the only thing holding his arm on. That's the only thing holding it up. <laughs> that was my laugh. That's and he screams and then I in pain the and clutches at the stump. <sighs> Sucks to be you. Like that. Do not be abandoned anymore. That's that famous uh, scream. young Wilhelm. I continue punching. Wizard time. Stop. So I'm, out, I'm out in front of the entrance to the You're, gate, right? Yeah, you just yeah. saw her hacking. She's hacking people. I hear more bandits down the road. You guys backed up a little bit. Mm-hmm. You said it's like a T intersection? Yeah. We, we know where I'll tell you from. now, in case you were thinking it, she is close enough to the T that if you just went for a back wall hit with the fireball, she would kind of be in the burst. But if you have homing, I do. You could certainly try to whip it around that corner. I'll try to arc it around the corner and see what happens. See if you can pull some wanted action. Please. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully, you will singe this stupid deer. And it like back what deer? There is a ghostly deer biting me right now. <laughs> and it is French. I love ghost That's stories. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I will make it by one. By one. Oh. The latest line in battle intimidation where Organ Bonanza by Sapphire <laughs> Sapphire is Use your enemies. As fashion accessories and watch the horse flee in terror before your fears and style. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thanks, Maximo. <laughs> that's hilarious. Thanks, Chad. <laughs> that's cute. <clears throat> Your fireball whips between the rest of them, starts to arc around that corner, and it gets around the corner enough that <clears throat> fire shoots straight across in front of you. You feel the heat. Woo, doggy! <clears throat> <laughs> And you hear screams of surprise and some terror from around the corner. Run away, back, back, oh, they have a wizard! Did my intimidation help that as well? Yeah. Excellent. Well, you, your, your intimidation actually kept them from taking damage. Oh, because the they were front, farther the back. The front people stopped like... Oh, what was that? What? Got it. Um, And uh, you can't see what the bandits are doing, so um, you're not sure. However... Um, I'm ready to charge whenever which, anybody what's your, says uh, it's time. What's my what? See if you can roll under your DCV. Under my DCV? Under your DCV. Versus melee or just regular? Versus melee. Nope. Nope. Uh, for some strange reason. Yeah, the deer will still want to be a bother to Elia, Kelly, has noticed that. Elstar is kind to you. So Sarah Dewey, her best pepe, loves you, tries to seduce Elstar anytime she wants. He can only feel really weirded out when she just hashtag Akadam. Wait, what? I am the deer, the deer? No, me. Let's keep building towards that hashtag Akadam. Be a bother to hell you. So I am so supposed to come on to my husband. So the deer is is still mad at you for killing it. Yes. <laughs> but Helia has realized that Elfstar is is quite the impressive figure. And I'm supposed to Pepe Le Pew come on to you. Yep. Okay, okay. Uh, Whenever you want. But before that happens, <laughs> this round, 
you feel thank you chat like somebody just kicked you right in your butt and it shoved you out into the hallway between the two hallways so now the bandits can see you she she just sort of lunges into the hallway Jacques, you're very annoying Pierre who's Pierre is is it Pierre we, we, already Pierre. we named the deer Pierre. Pierre! Yeah. Pierre Le Pew. You suck. Who Pierre. the hell is Pierre? Pierre I is am. the invisible deer that just kicked my ass out in the middle of the hallway. The ghost? The ghost deer that we ate. Mm. You should be mad at everybody. We all ate you. Do you, do you detect undead or anything that you know this deer is I think real? You have a cult. I have a cult. Is Helia just crazy? You can roll in a cult. I we'll, am we'll, crazy. We'll take that as a detecting undead. Go ahead. I love a good ghost roll deer, it. I gotta say. <laughs> oh, yeah. I beat that. I beat it by. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I lost it by two. Yeah, you. But, you, uh, but I have. I have three re rolls per session. If, would you yeah. like to use one? Yeah, let's do this. Oh. Nope, beat that. Did not beat that one either. Would you like to use a re roll? One more. Chevy. Yes. Okay, that one I beat. Like that one, I hit right on the dot. There oh, no. is definitely. You can't quite focus close enough to see it, but there is a ghostly presence very, very nearby. In fact, it's laying down. You Why? Think, because it's tired because it kicked me in the ass? Right behind Jenica. Ah, well, Baron R2 Silver has revealed to me through our relationship that there really is a ghost, dear just sleeping right behind you. It must be tired. I wonder if we need to start feeding it. No. I've also learned that we misunderstood. The deer is that into me. The deer is that into you, but I get to voice it as Pepe Le Pew? Yep. Mm, I'm sensing... Do, do I sense any just, like, warm feelings coming from that ghost deer? Um, you, you can kind of tell that it's oh. laid down and it's now, like, staring at um, Elfstar, the wizard. Mm. I can sense you, you, a sense of feels longing. Really, like it's aching for you, Elf. Yes, aching. That's a good word. A- does, achy uh, does anybody have a um, no. Pepe Le Pew so. sentence they want to just throw out at me as accents are does rough? It talk. Oh yeah. Pepe Le Pew talks. Very obvious boing, French accent. Boing, boing. Like uh-huh. yeah. that kind of French. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, oh my dear. My, my name is Pepe Le Pew. Oh, yeah, of course All right. it is. I think when the, the stars in your when eyes. the battle is over, the deer will probably hit the us. sun in your heart. Okay. Mm. It'll the be annoyance in your voice. Just FYI, chat. It will be terrible. My accents are abysmal. Just okay. FYI. The, the ghost deer just wants to do some pottery with Elstar. That's all. I love a good love story. Can we finish the battle? <laughs> I don't know, can I want to meet the deer. <clears throat> it's back to uh, Vanessa and QQ because uh, the bandits are uh, intimidated into stop. Well, they're still the one that's near me. Mm. Yes. So I'm gonna try to stab them. That's right. Hashtag. Hashtag. This is more fun that time you had that buffalo. You even nicked it that one already. Darn it. <laughs> what? I think they're still building towards another hack attack. Epic. Yes. They're still building towards another hack attack. Another one? Yeah. Oh, is it the chat? Yeah, that was the one. I meant to drop that one. It was the one for that. I Thank love you. It. We love your hack attacks, chat. Ah! I'm a big fan of my bitchy little deer behind me. I've never been involved in it. Did yeah, you? Deer seems kind of nice. Seven? And Do I have to use the whole plus seven or can I? Okay. Yeah, you can't All split it up. one bonus. But when you beat something by a, a significant amount, you get to do extra damage or... Oh, yes. So sometimes you lock the whole seven. You bet you have two QQ bruises as well. Yeah, that's one thing. But use. they would only... You could only use one. Or you need three in order to spend two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. I think as the namesake of the QQ, so, she can spend two to get two. Ooh. Oh, I like that. I'm, I will I'm, do that. Since I'm the GM... This week, mm-hmm. I'm going to say decree. Since it was my idea, it decree was. Final. I heard you say I that. I'll use two of those so I can beat this roll by one. So you get a plus two. Sweet. Yeah. Q Q pew pew. Uh, you are going to uh, 
cleave into bandit number three's leg. 66 damage. The oh. leg is coming off. I will I hope to hit the uh, sciatic nerve in his leg so he loses movement. Oh. Um, oh. Yeah, get him out close. of moving. Very close. That hurts. He actually did this sort of, tried to step away and dodge for this leg, which of course left this leg forward, and your blade kind of hacks right deep into the thigh. <laughs> Severing oh, that artery. Which Gen- artery? Jenica knows that there is a femoral, femoral artery right there. Femoral and artery. she has medical knowledge that the femoral artery just got hacked. And you now have matching red pantaloons. Like um the half work. Welcome to the blood. As blood just shoots out all over your legs. The guy screams. He's still alive, clearly. He drops down, holding his legs, rolling on the ground. It's terrible. The cleric in you is like... Think uh, about your terrible choices in life. Did you just... Did you just... Dad the bandit? <laughs> yeah. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm just... <sighs> I want to do that someday in a D&D campaign now. Like, are there get on to their a bad guy. Just be like, I'm not angry. I'm no, no. no. I'm still just making noise. Their, their round ended. They're I've still down the hallway. I've intimidated the cowards. They are staying put. Okay, well, I'm feeling really a lot of emotions right now. I'm not, I haven't eaten since, like... Oh, Perce- it's her turn? No, I was going to say, perception roll from you, Wall. From me? Was, yep. Uh, whilst... <laughs> Uh, you know, the love is in the air. I'm moved by that. Um, I haven't eaten any pasties in I a little bit. Three. I'm feeling really, like, protective. So I'm calling upon my uh, goddess True Silver to uh, protect us all, and I'd like to use my force field for my allies. Absolutely. I thank you for this protection, though it is little needed by me. <clears throat> I understand, you know, I just want to, just, it makes me feel better. I'm fragile and elven, I appreciate it. Of it, course, I, I, I all with it, don't you? Have lost all of you. Character. I am ready to inflict more damage on the ruffians. Baron R2 Silver protects us all. Uh, how many hit point? how many? 40. 40 shield. 40 nice. point hit point on, or shield on everybody. I think it's for what, five rounds? Two rounds. Two rounds. Safety, truth, home, and healing. So, plus 40? Yep, For 40 rounds. points. Basically, it two takes rounds. off 40 points of attack damage that you suffer. May I kill now? Uh, well, there's one left um, that's up front by where you guys were. I could, But see. he's, like, near the right and kind of still frozen in terror. Great. But you don't think he's going to be at the end of this round? Because he looks like he's stealing himself to, to attack you. Right. I'm going to attack him. Whilst again intimidating the rest of the hall, you're gonna uh, intimidate again to keep them yes nervous and scared yeah and uncertain yes and, okay. and pooping themselves hopefully pooping yes much pooping or just blind pooping I, I am very intimidating I want much pooping they're actually known as the bandits of the brown pants so this works out well and I'm still hoping to get entrails from this frozen and terror guy see in one in one Did moment two lines that I never expected to hear. Uh, I want much pooping. <laughs> and um, I'm still hoping to get his entrails. I'm still hoping for entrails. Pooping means fear. Mm-hmm. And fear is good. I know that I've done my job well. Fear leads to entrails. I beat that by five. By five. Mm-hmm. He's gotta love Can I just keep rolling all my attacks while intimidating? Um, or am I inti- was that my intimidating or you, was that an attack? That was the intimidation. Okay, I beat it by that, five. Yeah. Continue to cower in fear and shit your pants. <laughs> and make sure to clean up after yourselves because that looks disgusting. Now you just mommed them. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> I can't beat, help it. I beat my sword attack by two. And just then, by two? Yes, just by two. And then I'm going to attack. What, I'm just, what, you're going to just do some slash slash. Like, it's my bruise. You're doing it all on this poor guy? Yes. You're venting your frustrations? But on his belly, kind of specifically, because oh, I want those entrails. Okay. I want them. So, so I beat to... one by two. Oh, I beat that one by two. Okay. And I beat that one by five. Nice. All right. Well, let me uh, roll some defensive checks here. Um, misses the first one. Entrails. Uh, would have got the second one, except for that minus four. Address. 
I was thinking what's in the entrance. And it failed. More poop. The third one all together. So what's your damage? Again, 56. 56. 56. 56. Um, that was three times. 56. Minus nine, minus nine, 56. minus nine. So 45, 45, 45. Um, <coughs> you have, hold it. I can do this right. And we have entrance. Yes. Full of poop. For days. Great. Mm-hmm. I would like well, to take days. those entrails and loop them around the ghost deer's neck. You can't do that right now. Well, that, that's what I want to do. That's my goal. Is that a goal? Entrails. Yes. Mm-hmm. Around the sleeping deer? You can clean it. I need you to make a, uh, just a normal body check, but it's going to be at a minus uh, four since you can't see the deer. Make sure to clean, no. clean them. Um, clean you are entrails. stepping away from the last slash. Uh-huh. Um, and you trip over the deer, uh, uh-huh. or something. Maybe it was the entrails, the sure, slipperiness. Sure. The slippery. Maybe some of the poop fell out of the entrails. And it could be on. that because there is poop everywhere now. Because right. entrails <laughs> just open up and uh-huh. empty themselves. Well, and randomly. he was already scared, so he had probably pooped where he was. He might have ended up. Maybe that's what you had. slipped in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at me attacked to poop myself. <laughs> that would bring us to a. Uh, Elf star, the wizard. Elf. So the deer is asleep right now. Is this correct? So I don't need to worry about it coming on to me. You, you don't. You the, can't see it. The, you you know, the deer. A ghost deer. Ghost deer. It's a ghost deer. I'll tell you. I'm, it's not sleep. Character. Isn't that a really awful Bill Cosby movie? Ghost dad. Ghost dad. My bad. <laughs> can I feel the deer's not sleeping? Right. The last time I felt you, it, you, it was you looking can directly only at you. Vaguely sense it. Do I hear any sounds coming from any direction of any hallways? Um, make a perception check to since there's this sort of momentary silence after the yelling <laughs> yeah. and the poops. Yeah, sp- yeah. yeah I make it by five. <laughs> I make it by five. Uh, yes, you do actually hear some wordage. You hear a voice whispering, bows. And you, and you sort of hear some shuffling about, like yeah, they might be off the arts, sir, changing right, tactics. Give me a second, duck! <laughs> and I will make another flame. It's another fireball around the corner. I've ducked. We fireball, really, corner pocket! We don't really have to From the, the mouth of the cave. Does the poop, like, go up more because the... Oh, yes. <laughs> fire. <laughs> well, he's, he's alerted us to the fact that there's arrows. He told us to I'll duck. I'll make this one by 12. Whoa. Whoa. By 12? Yeah, so instead of 40, I'll do 60 points of damage. Yeah. And I should have told you it also does 10 ongoing damage each round. Because it lights things on fire. Yeah. Sign it up. I was including that already, but... uh. So it's going to do 60 points of damage. Yep. In a 20-foot... Oh, wow, that's... uh, Around the corner, singing. That's screaming that you hear now. There's, of course, the fireball that shoots past you and around the corner. There's the whoosh. (sighs) Boom. And then screams. If I had not warned you beforehand, party, I'm quite effective at ending threats. Not so great if you want to loot anything. Um, My apologies to my stub-footed friend. Yes, you would would guess about 30 or so screaming men and a few of them are even running around the corner now towards towards you on fire their hair they're screaming they're begging for mercy save us i could save them by decapitating them mercy me that is mercy they're not fighting us but i am saving them from being on fire by killing them yes i think we've committed to this line of approach (laughs) (laughs) this is hard to be a cleric right now (laughs) this is so hard Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that it is my turn yet. Meta I cannot humor. decapitate Meta them humor. until it is my no, turn. No, no, it's um, it's uh, the uh, bandits' turns. Um, so uh, they're screaming and burning um, and begging for you to help. Them I'd be happy to them. once it is my turn, sir. So we'll move to Vanessa. <laughs> Okay, so we got fire, fire. Three of them is what you saw kind of come around the corner towards her. Oh! It is so, so nice, nice to see what happens, happens when Maggie and Chris and leave the Chris <laughs> becomes the dude that Sarah hunters for the pooping and trails of her enemies. Hashtag cool rule. Cool rule. That's two of them, right? 
Uh, no, I think one was building towards okay. it. Yeah, yeah. This is the but we've definitely got a real cool up there now, yeah. which I'm yeah. excited about. So it, we're at the top of initiative, too, or the top uh-huh. of the round. We could. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Should we do it? Well, let's see what we could. Got up next. Week. Well, yeah, you, I'm, I'm going to save that, actually, okay. for a, a moment. For a moment. So there's only three of them running out of the cave right now. On fire towards us? They're not out of the cave, just around the that corner. That also unlocked a waffle, for the record. Yeah. Yay! We unlocked a waffle. Waffles! Or a waffle. A waffle. Okay. So next week there'll be another waffle. Nice. Because someone will get the, the giveaway. Great. So we are all fine. They're not even to, to Helia yet. Well, they're running at Towards her. Helia. Clearly. They're... She's all right. She's got a force field up around her. I am not worried about myself. I'm prepared to dispatch these. Yeah, you're built for this, literally. Okay. I am going to uh, hold my ground right now and just kind of just be aware of what's happening and try and help anyone who needs help uh, of my allies. And I'm going to prepare um, some water and some snacks for them. For the people that are on fire? For you! Not for, for you! Guys, you. Just such a valiant, you know, after so, a fight. so helpful. I'm also really still, like, really feeling about this ghost deer. I'm really, like... Olga, really, right? Particularly, yes, I am Olga. Olga, uh, stout beard? Good beard. Good beard! Good beard. On of the, fire, the good beard they, family. Are they, like, South Haven super good beards. on fire, just, like, singeing? They're, um... You get one to ten. Five. I mean, so some of the lootable. lighter, like their so leather, still lootable. their leather isn't the on fire. are alive and on fire. I yep. like her. I like her a lot. <laughs> their leather isn't burning, but like the light shirt is, their cloak, their hair, you know. Yeah. There's definitely flames so, there, but, oh, and the guy at your feet is clearly still alive, but he's just... Holding his gushing Blame thigh while he tries to crawl away from me. I forgot about him because I already stabbed That's him. Okay. Um, good beard. Mm, what do I want to do? Olga? Good beard. Mm, do I want to... I want to loot the guy. Uh, can I stab the guy again in front of me and then loot him? Sure. Go for it. You, you know, know what? Fi- I want to... Well, yes, I will make you roll for it. You get a plus five, though. Is that harder or easier? That's a bonus. Bonus. Easier. So, stab. I'm going to roll for stabbing first and then stab for sleight of hand afterwards. All right, guys. That is 10. So, minus five is five. So, beat it by six. Um, how are you uh, stabbing this poor fellow? Are you just. Probably just through the neck. Oh, yeah. Right. Probably just through the neck. <laughs> Try and catch one of them alive. We so can do the point. I like it. <laughs> and uh, you don't need to. You don't need to roll anything because he wasn't on fire. I've, I've, so if they all die, I've got to work around. Okay. I've got a total work around. Okay. All right. Is it my turn? That. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. Is it my turn got to help? Snacks. Nadia, these burning bandits. Um, yeah. What exactly are you looking for? Coin or he has a coin purse potions. under his neck, or you know, around his neck and under his shirt. He's got uh, a boot dagger, and he's got a dagger at the back of his belt, and of course he's got the short sword that he was trying to remember where it was as you were grabbing his face and shoving your dagger into his I'll neck. take all of his daggers and the coins. His last words were, Mommy. <laughs> Bet she was a nice lady. Just a, she raised a bandit. We just lost the cleric right there. <laughs> it's going to be okay, I Olga. Call for his mom! Don't worry, Olga. <laughs> This is flashbacks to the last night's <laughs> game I played. I'm fine. Just concentrating on the thing I'm cooking. <laughs> you guys are gonna love this. It smells great. I'm gonna love this. I can't wait to eat it. I can only smell burning flesh at this point. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I am helping is that people that are on fire. Oh, you're it's helping them. Or is it more of a chowder? This is a bit more of a stew. No, that's good. Are you going for just a uh, salmon chowder's nice? Well, I have three attacks. Oh, right. Salmon. So I am. I'm hope. What I would like to do. More guts. No, I don't need them anymore. Oh. I have the ones that I. I'm good. What I would like to do is, as I am hacking the 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 two, I am intimidating this third one to tell me everything he knows 
about our mission and what we're trying to do and any other bandits that I could... Like, I want information from this one as I'm attacking these two, which should be extra intimidating as they are on fire it is, and I'm it killing them. It is super intimidating, Yes, but you should consider the <laughs> negatives. That he's on fire? Um, he's on fire. <laughs> he will be witnessing you hack his two friends yes. to death. Yes. It's it, good motivation. You might need to do a... Well, th- th- it kind of makes people want to curl up into a ball and cry like a baby. Maybe say he'll live if... Call I, for I will mommy. intimidate and assure his uh, not hacked... Let's do your attack roll attack first, first, since okay. he's the subject of your... Uh... Frick! I think... No, I missed one of them. Oh, you know what? I'm re-rolling. I, that was my... Uh, I get one yep, re-roll. you got yeah. one. Good. That one's better. Oh, so yeah. I... Um, Beat that by, sorry, seven. By seven? Yeah. And then I beat that one by eight. By eight? And I'm putting them these poor chaps out of their misery. Oh, most surely. At 56 points. Yes. The fireball had done 60. They, they have eight. Yeah. Hit points. The yeah. eight? Eight. Oh. Excellent. These aren't, like, valiant thugs or no. anything. They're, they're poor farmer folk and fisher folk and, yeah, you know, people have they been are out of their forced misery. They're bandits. into banditry. They're bandits. Okay, so now... They're a walking trope. They are. Um, Suffer the same fate or continue to burn or tell me everything. I'm going to give you a plus four bonus. And that's considering the considerable negative since the fact that he's on fire. Um, I... Beat it by one, then. Thank you for the bonus. <laughs> and, and now what was it you were trying to get out of him again? Any information related to banditry that would be helpful to us. Good job! Like, a, a manual? I don't know. <laughs> however many people are in the cave, or oh, um, how many people we have to kill before we win the quest. He, he's begging you, of course. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. There's like 50 of us all together. And the bosses, the bosses make us do it. Who are the bosses? The bosses. Who? Um. You're not helping enough to spare your life. Just want to warn you ahead of time. Does your group have a name? Uh, the Bandits of the Southwoods. Bandits of the Southwoods. Who are your bosses? The Brown Pants Bandits. Who are your bosses? Um, Lego, Ego, and Muff. What? Lego, (laughs) Ego, and Muff. They're on fire. Hashtag Thomas Booth. <laughs> Thomas Booth. They're on fire. Thank you, chat. Lego, Mega, Lego, Ego, and Muff. Great. Where do we find them? Let's go toast them. They're in the no back of the all? cave in the room. Lego, Ego, and Muff are in the back of the cave in the room, and we have to fight 50 bandits to get to them? I, they're on fire. I don't know if you'll have to fight them. Excellent. I will not kill you. Thank you. Can I go? No. I tie him up. (laughs) You're gonna hang out with us. Okay. Don't kill me. Are are we out of combat? Are we out of combat? Sounds like you made them all stand down. Well, you still still hear noises around the corner, but they're not imminent. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of fighting going on over there. Or prepping. There's a lot of moaning, some burning sounds, and some fire putting out sounds. Great. Can I make a street sense gangs to know if I know anything about Lego, Ego, and Muff? Good idea. You can, in fact. What does it say plus one to parentheticals mean? Any skill that is in, uh, skills can have specialties. Specialty is listed in a parenthetical bracket. So, so I get that, a plus one of this thing? That, yes, that's that number at the end. Oh, so I four. would get f- a five as my cultural arts, but for literature, I would only need a six. six. Okay. Correct. Got it. What is presence, then? Just like I'm intimidating as my presence is yes, intimidating? Yes, just your general presence is intimidating. So that's what you I hit it on the nose! You hit it on the nose. Mm-hmm. Um, you will know about one of them. Lego. Does he like to build things? What? What do I know about Lego? Lego is a halfling. Oh. Angry, bitter halfling. Oh. Of the Blodgett family. 
Lego Blodgett. We are kind of in a lull at the moment, correct? Yes. Um, group, the deer is waking up. I don't know what the deer is going to do. It's probably going to attack me. And then I see the deer turn towards... Elfstar. Elfstar. We've been questing together for at least <laughs> four years. How can you not remember my name by now? My intelligence is very low. Okay. And I don't care about you very much. I'll grant you that. And the deer kicks me as I say I don't care about you very much. And I look at the deer. What, <sighs> what Romance. deer? And the deer I can see has these big deer Doe eyes. eyes? Doe-like eyes? Doe-like yeah. eyes, mm -hmm. in fact. But not actually doe eyes, because that would be weird. Now the deer is named Pierre. Correct? Correct. Pierre Le Pew. Pierre yes. Le Pew. Just letting you know. Mm -hmm. Ghost um, deer. Ghost deer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Did I mention it's a buck? <sighs> yeah, well it's a it's male deer. It's Pierre. Oh. Ooh, we didn't know until now. It's we fine. didn't know. <clears throat> it's a buck. Young buck? Young buck. <laughs> A, he's looking at me funny. B, uh, accents. All right. Um, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I'm just not look at you. Thank you, chat. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Do we, can, can we get some romantic music? Uh, maybe. maybe. Uh, help. Your, your, uh, can somebody do another French accent? Because I can't. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oui, oui. Your robes. Are, I can't do it so, so you, bad. You had it. So bad handling was female. Would that make them Lego last? Lego last. The lawyers are coming. A band is dreaming. Hashtag academia. Well played, chat. Okay. Well played. What is it? What? Your robes are so magnificent. I want to bury my horns in them. Oh god, that was way dirty. <laughs> <laughs> that is all. But I love you. <laughs> Do I hear any of this? Or? Can I hear it? Can I roll to hear it? That was I it. Mean, this music is making me really feel for Pierre right now. I, yes, you heard it all. And, and I think he really he put actually, himself out there. He actually managed to to <laughs> materialize sparkly ghost-like image oh. with big doe brown eyes. Oh my! So we all hear it. Pierre, you're no, just him. You're majestic. Uh -huh. I, I thought you were just a myth. Uh -huh. <laughs> I really appreciate you putting yourself out like that and being vulnerable. Uh -huh. <laughs> and totally you tasted marvelous. <laughs> I um, I hadn't really ever considered this before, and I'm I'm gonna have to spend some time now pondering what you've revealed. I the deer flicks its tail in the very way, kind of way, as it's supposed to be like Pepe Le Pew, so there's this little tail kind of, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. doing this. <laughs> so I will be tailless. honest, Pierre, the fact that you're dead will make any relationship difficult. <sighs> but I am incorporeal and can do things to you you could never imagine. God, this is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I love this deer so much. Just keep going. Pierre! <laughs> Gotta get to know this deer better. <laughs> the deer is done. <laughs> I have this friend named Brad. Uh huh. Who I haven't seen in a long time. Mm hmm. He lives far away. Mm hmm. But you remind me a bit of him. Dirty and incorporeal. <laughs> We'll talk again later. Ha uh ha. -huh. That was it. Let's go fight some things now. Do, do I know anything else other than you hear the angry? song, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Did we just watch him talk to Air? Air. Right. Were you talking to the to the ghost elf star? I think we had a bit of a connection there for a moment. It was traumatizing. Let's go kill things to cleanse my soul. It was divine. Death to everyone! Um, you, you know that, um, Lego... Beauty. Lass. Is, um... Angry at human governors, human monarchs, for the poor treatment that they give to, uh, halfling folk. And his bandits are usually pretty sinister, pretty evil. 
willing to do anything. It's a bad, bad half. These ones seem pretty, uh, these bandits didn't seem all that tough, to be honest with you. Fireballs and swords, let's do this! They were kind of pansies. Yeah, I mean, they just kind of, like, gave up. Well, when you're on fire, it tends to dissuade people. Let's go do that did, some more. Did someone tell you that Lego... Glass. And, uh... Ego. Ego, if not all three, at least one was in the cave somewhere? They were all yes, they're in all the in the back, back of the cave. In the back room. Oh, well, let's just go take care of this now. Yeah. I am for it! I charge. You almost used it like a gun again. I know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it better. <laughs> I'm like, this is... No, it's not like that. Well, uh, are you going to look around the corner? Of the place I'm charging? Yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's where I'm going. You can't charge Take around a, a corner. Take a peek. Oh. A little peek. I sort of Sorry, it was, was a... Like, I that was a D&D joke. D&D joke. D &D joke. Being Thank I got it. Yeah. Thank you. Unless you have the feet that allows you to, uh, a, because being a halfling, take one turn. I yeah. Yeah. to see no up to ninety degrees. Mm -hmm. If I want, um, yeah. peeking yeah. around the corner, perhaps. Um, there are about twenty or so bandits. Roll, kind of. Uh, uh, some of them are trying to put their hair out, and they're burnt and scorched. And it looks like the others have retreated about sixty feet total. Can I? To a much larger cave room, and they are starting to put up barricades. Can I see, can I use Jenica's medical knowledge to see if the pile of groaning bandits are savable or not? Oh, they're all savable. So, okay, so I will convince- The right cleric comes around. Hell yeah, to not kill them. <laughs> if they are savable. Bad theology joke. <laughs> And you hear at least one commanding voice from in there. Oh, I command right back. Commanding the men that are like throwing barrels and boxes and chairs and tables. We a lot of wooden stuff on here. Yeah, a lot of wooden stuff. We could so. go storming in like we own the Two. place. Storming in like we what? own the place sounds like an excellent plan. Why don't you just point out to them that they basically house themselves in kindling. Light it on fire! And they can either come out and surrender surrender or burden alive. Ha! Like that? It's done. I have intimidate. What, you want me to roll it? <laughs> Fine. I beat it by four. <laughs> Come out and surrender or burn alive. Ha ha! We should give up. It's very clear. It looks actually several of them actually kind of Rush out and kind of we we give up we Good. give up. I'll, I'll nice. start just now going sit to the side like this, of this, and each finger will stop popping out a flame as I do that. Till you get to the last and one. I'll get to oh. all of them and say you have to the count of ten, and then I'll start putting them out. Nice. Surrender and sit to the side of the cave. Um. If you want to live. Yes, if you want to live. So. Yeah, about it works out the other way actually. About one, two, twenty. Three. Twenty of them kind of break through the barrier. Most of them burnt, hurt, running uh, over there, dropping weapons go over there, going wherever you direct them to go. Right over Sit here, facing the wall. Pierre, think about what you did. Watch yes. our prisoners. Face that wall and think about what you did. I'm just disappointed. Ah, uh, lay on the ground. Put your hands like this on the ground, face down. We don't actually have any rope, but just do that. Just do that. Yes, Baron, our true silver, true silver, true silver has saved you. Oh, let's talk about her over here with me. We've got entrails. I'll go get some ah, time up. Okay. Perfect. I knew they'd be useful. I'll go back. Go get their entrails. Perfect. I'll come back with like sixty feet or so. <laughs> clean them out. Okay, they're crying now. Please clean them out. Alone. <laughs> They're crying? Clean, clean, are they really so, crying? So what do you want? You want clean to grab out. the entrails and just like... Man, these, these guys are not fearsome or... They're crying very, at very all. soft flame to cauterize and like clean off the the hairs and make these entrails very Thank nice. You You're guessing well. that there's only about they're 20 sterile. that are still oh, there oh. on the other side of the wall. So we have 30 sitting for cleaning. About 30. Fireballs! Don't know what I was doing there. Are, are you going to tie them up with entrails? Yeah. Or are you just... Uh, Absolutely! Yes. It's all prepped. We're good to go. We cleaned them out. Okay, well, you're going to take some time to tie them, to 
tie them up. There's that room to the right where you came in. Actually looks like it was a guard room. And there's actually like little looky holes that show out to the outside area. It's like a- Looky hole? Yeah, so you got a little spy hole that you can see outside. It's different than a hidey hole. But it's mm-hmm. a big room. It's about, you know, 20 feet square. It's Are you recommending room. that we put the prisoners in that room? You, you most certainly could. Let us do Inspired that. Inspired idea, we should do that. Okay. Yeah. This way, and trail tied mm-hmm. cowards, come. <clears throat> I want to climb the thing that they're trying to barricade and look into the other room. Are you going to try to nice. stealth down the hallway? So that they don't see you approaching their barricade? Yeah. That could be difficult, and you're pretty sure they have bows. I could intimidate them again. Distract you, them. You could. Try. Um, I talk about all of their mothers in negative ways. Well, I have, oh my gosh. I have shelf silent. Roll it. That would be... So that's... I beat it by one. Actually, no, I beat it by two. By two? Because I have, it's a parenthetical. Uh, you're going to make it all the way up to the barricade. And now you're going to attempt to climb it so you can see, like, through one of the holes or yeah, just actually just... into the room. So I can see what's going on in the room. Is this considered a wall? <clears throat> yes. It's a makeshift wall, but it's a wall all the same. Question. Answer. Do I have nope. any of Bombshell's nano wasps? Nope. Nope. Okay. I beat it by six. You have this. Despite the wall being fairly completely and totally rickety oh, and makeshift, yeah. you yeah. climb up enough that you can get a look in. You can if see I was the a true stump foot. There is a second. Never would have made it. Barricade that's set up with like beds, like pallets that were beds. And they've got men that are ready with bows. And you can see three prominent looking individuals. May I pose another question? You we may. have we have gone to our boosted abilities, yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> she, I like that smile that she gets right there. That one. See that one, chat? That's uh-huh. when you know you might be in trouble. Uh, so, Bridget knew about Lego. Right. And Lego is one of the three prominent people. Um, with my, with my social science, sciences, I, I mean, that, I'd love to, to perhaps find out if I, if I know anything about these. The bosses are uh, maybe with area knowledge. Area knowledge could do it. I also have, it's with my boosted abilities now, I have a plus five to any skill checks involving research. Due to this would be Princess mental Ricci. research. Uh, I'll give you that one. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, Bridget. Bridget. That's you. Wait. Nice. Uh, uh, depending on how this goes, it might make sense. I'm getting all planificated here. It might make sense for you to sneak on up in a stealthy manner towards the door. And I think our friend here is considering stunning everybody. In which case, I could convince one of the people on the inside to be helpful and unlock and open the door for us. Love that idea. What door? And then you could just go in and go stabby, stabby, face stab. Well, I'm at the top. Actually, oh, I need to make a wall. Oh. Six. What door? Is there a door to where they? No, it's just a no. They are barricade. barricade. It's like a tunnel. They're There's in no like a hole. It's like a leak. It's, it's like it's like. What we can do is do it, a surprise thing of her just crashing through and me being all right. In the room, I'm just saying so. she's got a group stun effect she can do at some point. So. Yeah. What's your body? Good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's ten. <laughs> it's a ten. Yeah. Helia Spleen Ripper. Yeah. It is a ten. It is. Um, <laughs> Your husband made the character. You might actually be able to crash through that. I mean, it's... I have plans. Okay. Is it my turn? Well, we're going to do a rule of cool here in a minute at the beginning of this, because we have one, right? Yeah. Well, let's do that. Well, hold on, though. i got to finish information. Okay. So, you see 
The barricade's made of beds where the archers are over there. You can see over here where there's another hallway that seems to go up a hill deeper into the underground. And there are a group of like about half, maybe less, about six out of the, tw the, the 20 remaining people. Then you can see the one you recognize as Lego, Lass. Um, one eye patch, angry, scarred up looking halfling. Then you see the two others that, you know, they've, they've got the bearing that says we're somebody important. Are they um, also halflings? Describe nope. them to me. Maybe I, maybe I know who they are. One of them is a tall, brigand looking fellow. If you think black hair, long, a sinister mustache, Aries-esque from a certain Australian actress's TV show about mm. a warrior princess, maybe. Aries. Oh, okay. Um, and then the third one, which you will recognize by the description if um, uh, Bridget gives it the, gives the description to you. Um, it is a woman. Mm. Very well-known bandit from South Farthing to the north. She is a thinking person's bandit. She does things like pretend to be a helpless maiden lost on a road to get, you know, merchants to stop and help her, and then her bandits attack them. A con woman. A con woman. A thief. But a very good one at that. Is she charismatic. And she's very pretty. <coughs> very charismatic. Mm -hmm. Does she have a cult? Does she have a cult? Does she mm -hmm. teach yoga? They haven't invented yoga here yet. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I think I know her. She That's does a... dance, though. Oh, really? Is uh, that, well, is that like, oh, like, Muff? I prefer to call her by her full name, Muffalina. It's Muffet. Muffet, my bad. Muffet. Do we know As each other? As in Little Miss? Have we worked together? We just know of her. She's not really big on any church, particularly. But she likes to eat, right? Short, beardy people churches. Mm. Short, beardy people churches? She is, uh, so she is yeah, racist. She's, she's like that. Huh. Racist. So she doesn't like, uh. She's very so tall and leggy, like so she just, short people are like, eh. So we know the three of them are behind the barricade, right? A short person. There's three plus short people 20. stabbing the bottom there's of the There's three bottom. of them, then there's so, about 12 okay. archers and maybe five or six Muff. over here. <laughs> and we will rule of cool. Rule of cool it, because sure. you're gonna try to intimidate or something. Let's, I have or something. Which do we want to do this in order? Let's do this from order from lowest to highest. All right. So that those with initiative have an advantage. Okay. That means you're first, Chris. Oh. Uh, okay. So to describe the situation again. So we've got we've got these three guys. We've got these three leaders, bandit leaders, inside the barricade situation. Yes. And there are other bandity types in there. Yes. Some of whom have bows and arrows. Yes. And there are people on the outside. People on the outside are all kind of already taken care of. Yes, and they move them all into the other room behind so you. Just have them, and and they are locked up behind like this, just pile of kindling and tinder. Yeah, so. it's like I said, the overall <coughs> cave height is a little less than ten feet, and they've got it built up so that you literally would have to smash through it or climb over. It. So I'm feeling festive right now. Here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to use my telekinesis to pull apart the barricade that they have there mm -hmm. and uh, take these tables and chairs and wooden frames and pallets and stuff, reconfigure the whole thing into like a full-on tiki bar setup with like lounge chairs and a bar and overhang and little torches. Light all of the torches as well. With your and fire. Yeah. We're going to subdue them with liquor. No, I just want to do that to pull away their barricade, and then I figured you all take care of the rest. What an interesting wizard. But I'm going to check so to see we're if the bartender call that has, one. I'm going to check and see if the bartender has anything on tap. Oh, there's... She can tell you most certainly they've got casks of beer. Oh, and yeah, so I'll move some of the casks over there as well and everything all set up, and then I'll go over and pull too. myself a pint. Which so we're going with the Pally Solid. So yours, we could sur surmise or summarize it as the telekinesis tiki bar. Teleka tiki. Tiki kinesis. Tiki kinesis. Tiki kinesis bar. I love it. Um, next would be you. Perfect. 
All right. Okay. All right. So I'm it's, going to use my boosted ability, which is called Soko Lover. Soko Lover? And I am going to spit forth an epithet, which will traumatize even the strongest of warriors into uh, no action for a round. And the epithet is already written, so I will do it. Um, and then, if the um, barricade still exists, I will burst through it dramatically and start hacking away at people with my rage, which gives me once per session a three point ACV bonus. Burst through and it. Be quiet. Why did it do that? One. Uh, anyway, so I have some DCV penalties, but I will rage through it. So I'm raging through the barricade and doing three gigantic sword attacks after the Soko Lover Intimidation of Doom. Wow, that uh, that sounds very impressive. Yes, that's what I Let's want. Let's see what happens. Okay. Um, I would like to uh, <clears throat> ask uh, the elf, actually, if, if you'll help me with a reconfiguration. Um, maybe not a, a tiki torch style, but some kind of like big, glorious, warm, needs your fire, uh, like, dining hall. Oh, 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 oh. Um, With a tiki theme. Yes. I've got my big pot of stew. We've got all those beers. Uh, kind of know, uh, what was her full name? Mafetta? Mafetta. Okay. Um, banking on my personal seduction and charismatic skills, I'd like to uh, win them over, have a great uh, dinner, and um, talk about how we can stop being bandits and really discover the um, true deliciousness of, of you know, having a, a really great deity. You want to like bear in our true silver. You want to for your safety, home, comfort, heart. and healing and heart. You want to diplomatically it. solve the bandits. Absolutely. I also With have food. some management and admin. Uh, skills here that I will put into play as well, and we'll just have a really organized and delicious, this is fun time. This one is management right here. This one is organization. And what's I the, what's the you. big round thing? I on the end? big round thing is the diplomatic solution. Oh. We just have different angles. But I think your angle's pretty good too. <laughs> but that's mine. I like that you've created a pacifist cleric for this campaign. I I actually sort love of. it. Yeah. Sort of a pacifist, I'm still waiting to find out what's going to well, really piss her off. She has to balance my character. Off. I was going to say. Basically just wants to kill everything. There's probably a line that she'll cross. I'm looking it. at that mace, and I'm it's thinking there's definitely a line. There's there's a point it's true. where she's going to be like... Crack. Wouldn't it be fun to cross that line one day? <laughs> I love crossing those lines. As a GM. As, as a person. Barring that, going to use... Uh, Helia's distraction of her trying to intimidate everybody and slash things and break yeah. through the barricade, or maybe not break through the barricade, and everybody being confused, jump down off the barricade, go around, stab Mafetta in the, in the back of the spine, because I know she doesn't like short people, and then go get um, Lego Lass and hold them hostage with my dagger to their neck to to figure out how to end all this. That's got potential. All right, chat. You all right, want, so we need a vote. That? You want us to recap? So is it, yes, yes recap. while we are waiting for the vote, um, everybody can recap their... I think AK typically goes this way because for the viewers it's easier. Right, so we'll go back this way. Um, also in that I will do a somersault off the... Uh, Barricade no. onto the ground. To so I'm going to stab the tall, pretty lady in the spine because she doesn't like right. short people and she's racist. And uh, take Legolas as a hostage. Great, uh, big glorious feast and talking uh, about what we're doing in the name of Baron Our True Silver, and um, with of course some seduction aspects because it happens to be the highest. Um, skill that I have on my sheet, so why wouldn't I use it whenever possible? Soka Lover, stun everyone, kill everyone. Tiki Kinesis to allow this stuff to happen all the more efficiently. Tiki Kinesis. Huh? Tiki Kinesis. I, I, you know, if I was on chat, oh, I am. Can I vote? You actually could. 
I almost did. Then I realized that if I did that, it would just probably they'd counter vote me out of spite. Right. Um, <laughs> and I shouldn't do that. I'm staying away from it. I think uh, it was partially your shirt is what made it pop into my head. I was like, I wanted to do something with telekinesis. And then, I feel like also the robe adds to that. I think this I now. So there is one day at Gen Con every year where Christian will just show up in his robe. Yeah. And I, I get it now. <laughs> Oh, it's super. It. It's super comfy, and it completely changes your attitude. Like the degree of just fuck it going well, through my brain right and now. And the nice thing is, is when you get to that stress point where you actually are, uh huh, you'll have that point where you kind of look down and be like, meh, shit, I don't care. I got a rub on. Exactly. Okay, pull closed. Oh. And uh, looks like it was kind of a not really a landslide, but. Uh, Looks like we're uh, gonna have ourselves a tiki, uh, tiki parade. Hey, it's not <coughs> part of. If you would all be kind enough to allow me to go first, I will happily make all of your actions much easier. Great. It most certain that you won't have to break through anything. I will have anything. to break through, you and I will just attack. climb over anything. Well, I'm, well, I'm already at the top. I just somersault off. All right. Well, um, and you crit it, right? Yes. Yeah, he crit. So I will start like start chanting various slogans from I don't know like the 1950s tiki craze and such and it's all horribly culturally something you'll actually and, somehow um, even get some tiki music out of it exactly right and so I'll start ripping off pieces really? and stuff from the barricades and, 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 uh, and they start flying around in the air and and uh, and they, the oh, spike geez. the spike torches start going like shunk 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 and the flames boom 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 and um oh you know what I'll do it to the the to the song of Be Our Guest. To Be Our Guest? Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest. Uh, I can't remember how it begins. What is it, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, on behalf of the Tempest, Tempest to the Tempest. Yes, I'm trying to be the Lumiere. Tie your napkin round yeah. your neck, Shabby. Oh, and we, we provide, provide the rest. The rest. So, the rest. So, Pierre. Hot hold dirt. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the part where they turn you into Slambe. Remembering about Pierre. But yes, to start pulling off all these pieces and say, Pierre, what do you think of this? Oh, no. See. You 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 happen to have played oh. Pierre's favorite song. Gotcha. While this was going on, is he helping you? So almost immediately, Pierre oh. hops up, bright eyes, and starts bounding deer and gazelle style it's all through the room. Our quest. Yeah, it's our quest. He's, he's visible. Uh, with our patience. He's shimmering, and of course, can we all see we this? You, you all we see it now. <gasps> and we'll wear you as a. Fan. And he's. Pierre is actually singing the song. Make you poo, run and play, <laughs> then you turn to some flambe. <laughs> I'm loving this, with this Disney with time. With this crew and our skills showing, there's this so much you'll be glowing. For uh, star course, uh, one by one, till we stab and have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll rip off all your heads and go and play, sucker. <laughs> Da, 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 uh, I love it. There's so much da, 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 more to do. Scared you, poo. This is our quest. Is our quest. Is our quest. Well, um, you've certainly, absolutely <laughs> caught them off guard. The best. Ever. Enough. So, who's next? Well, we should do it from a initiative order. initiative order. So, uh, Vanessa or QQ. Unless you want me to go and intimidate everyone first. You're sort of ass uh, assisting his with I fully food helping and the stuff like that. I will so. wait until Hell Yeah goes because, well, actually, this is already probably distracting them. Well, see, that's what I was going to yeah, tell you. I'm stunning them so um, they can't move around. Yes. Right. That's why yours should probably go next. Yes, with I your, go and then I'll go because if you stun everybody. With your Soka Love. Soka Lover. Yes. Soka Lover. Soka Lover. Okay. So I'll go last. Well, yes. you're, that's fine. Yeah, I guess. So, Soka Lover, her other one is Jenna Cade. I'm really just <laughs> helping <laughs> helping uh, the elf over there. Yes, oh, so as part of this, I want to actually, we should incorporate yours into it. So we should also, in addition to putting the sticky thing, there's also this beautiful living room and... Um, uh, like a lounge area? Yeah, a lounge has, area like, with a, a beautiful lights? fireplace that somehow is burning wood Absolutely. without it all turning what on to flames. Pull are the we, fairy lights what out are of the are pack. we at so that I know what... How many rounds this is? Do we uh, know? It's eight eighteen. No, no. What are we at? <laughs> Money wise? Yes, because it's for seven fifty. Oh, uh, alien knitter! If you want to send a message to either Cotton Renegade or to myself, 
I still have just enough battery power that I'll see it. I have plenty of battery power, so I will see it. Cool. So. <clears throat> that way I know whether or not we've got... I know we hit a waffle, so one... we're over a thousand, but yeah. that's all I know. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't even know if it's my turn right now. I was just... I think it is sort of your turn it's as you were helping. Okay, yeah, I'm like the holding mark. until... We're building a glorious oh, yeah, area. Oh, no, no, we are totally... Uh... Singing a musical number with with the elf, too. <clears throat> Enjoying that okay. we can all see... Fear's bounding around, can. kicking the legs from time to time. I do Thank you, Alien, I appreciate it. I do appreciate um, the Fear is leaving me alone to deal so with So, you. your ability... Yes. It's going to stun everybody for a sure full Caitlin, by the way. round. Yes. And then you're doing what Let's besides that? Oh, I need to say my thing you that it stuns them. Filthy traitors. Filthy traitorous bandits. You will be impaled, flayed, or skewered. Your choice. You gutless feces producing miscreants, prepare to die. What were the three options again? Uh, impaled, flayed, or skewered. That's a pull right there. Get on it. <laughs> impaled, flayed, or skewered. Your choice. It's your choice. It's, it's your, your choice. choice. When so we're now. done, you'll have no voice. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be impaled, skewered, or... Paralyzed. You'll be flayed, I enjoy flaying, personally. It's my favorite. <laughs> I shall start flaying and skewering and impaling. Henceforth. What? But they're not doing anything well, to us. Well, right now she's gonna she's gotta stun them, and then I'm we're gonna continue them. on, and then we have with the next round. Words. And if it's all over, then oh, I am hurting them with words, and now I will hurt them with metal. Let's go. So then you are next, correct? No, I get to attack. So I stun, and now I attack. You're going to attack, even though they are all doing nothing. I want. Uh, mm. We can't defend right now if you attack. Yes. Who are you attacking? The leaders. You're charged right up to the three leaders? Heck yeah. And do an attack, attack, attack? Uh-huh. <laughs> Hell yeah, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you, chat. That's what that was. Heck that. Roll. Okay. Your three attacks. Okay. But the stew. But yes, the stew. yeah. Well, there might be something more for the stew now. She can't kill them all in one round. Probably not. Just three of them. Okay, but she's so also going for the three leaders. I missed so. one. I got that one by eight. Don't forget your penalty. Which penalty? The hack attack vote penalty. Oh, then I got that one by three. Oh, is it a five? Yes. It's a five point penalty. And I missed that one. So I, I got one of them. You got one of them. Mm -hmm. By three. And you didn't actually pick which one of them, so I will wait till this goes on. Oh, get you the more brain, brain going. Going. My mom was kept out. I'm going to do some overcasting. Thank you. I like that was self censored. It, the kitten rainbow unicorn. <laughs> <They did. laughs> yep. It wasn't even. <laughs> they just became curse words. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah, it was kitten unicorn rainbow. I want to do that on stage someday. Kitten it's rainbow. Done. What is this hack attack? Oh, they're whispering at me. They're going to send it to Kelly. Alrighty. <coughs> He's got you power. hack. Well, it, how are you attacking Ego? Ego the middle one. Uh, uh, I like, um, I would skewer him. Because my sword is like a skewer. Can we get the sound mark? A skewer sound. It's got to be a. There you oh. go. That sounded right. Pretty much right. Thank you. Underneath here. Right. I mean, right under the solar plexus. Straight through. Yeah. Felt the pop of the spine, and Ego is just like, no, he's still on my sword, sagging, <laughs> kind of staring at you, going literally <laughs> skewered, mm -hmm. skewered. Right. Please tell me that Ego, Muffet is in a relationship with Ego, and that as soon as they are stunned, she looks over and says, "Lego, my Ego." <laughs> Look at my muff. That was that was terrible. Please? You know, Terrible. I've been waiting since I picked the three <laughs> names. <laughs> you just stole it. What exactly were you waiting for? <laughs> to find the perfect moment for the Lego My Ego joke. I'll let myself out. <laughs> Will you get my okay. That's okay, I appreciate a good joke, <laughs> believe it if somebody else gets it. It needed to come up in a natural... It did, it was very organic. I feel very... It was um, not forced. All right, so I am rushing in and first stabbing... Muffet in the back of the, 
like right, right in the back. Backstabbing. Yep. Yep. Literally backstabbing her. Um. Not figuratively backstabbing. Literally. 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 As I literally skewered. Right. You did literally skewer. Mm, I didn't see it. So, and then I have mm. a minus five, right? Yes. Yeah, so plus, yeah. yeah so. But consider they're all stunned. So they right can't now. defend or. True. That's not bad. So that is, so six, 11. Right on the nose, actually. For stabbing her in the back. What? 66 What damage. can I help you find? <laughs> I rolled. Hang on. I'm answering somebody real quick. Okay, no worries. Oh. Okay, there we go. I can still taunt people. Um, So you beat it by how much? I hit it right on the nose. Right on the nose is all you need. What's your damage on the backstab? 66. Damage. Right in the small of her back. Um, her. And she, she is has to sit in a chair and be short rest of her essentially life. at the helpless Whoa. point right now. <laughs> so 99 and she's not dead. But not she's not dead yet. But um, she's going to be paralyzed. She's not doing a whole lot except falling to the ground. Actually, I think she's getting better. Yeah, now she's shorter than me. She is shorter than you. <laughs> <laughs> Lying down does that. Yeah. And then you're trying to grab the other one, yeah. Lego. Lego. Um, do you have two attacks per round? No, I do not. So that will be minus nine on that one. I don't even know what would I. What would that? A my, so it'd be like a minus fourteen. Which, yeah, but yeah five. That, that my arm is six. <laughs> have you used your? Yeah, it's not yeah. Patreon yeah, bonus. Um, I'm pretty sure you did. The plus seven. No, I have not. No, I didn't think you had. I did not. No. So you could turn that into a only a plus two penalty, so. Okay, so plus two, so Ooh, I need to roll really, really low. I did not. I rolled a nine. So it'd be actually an 11 on a six. So I didn't beat it. These things happen. Yep. <sighs> And while I was talking again, there we go. Do I need to resend the head hack? Yes. Hey, Chris. Yo. Um, I'm not, I got the one message. From AK? The, from AK the first time, but I'm not seeing anything for. Do you want know what it is? Where am I? I'm looking to see if it's out here. Okay, oh, I've wait, there here. it is. I got it. Okay. I had to find the window. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Did you get it as well? Yeah. You, what is it? Go ahead and... Uh, Helia's sword, which Chad has named Caitlin, Kate. becomes both sentient and capable of speaking, ah. and is in love with Pierre. The deer, which love. it killed! Love triangle. Yes. Well, you know, it's nice. an abusive relationship. It's a weird love <laughs> triangle, because it killed the deer, the deer is in love with Chad, and yep. Chad ate the deer. Oh, star. Elf Star. Sorry, Elf Star. <coughs> yeah, Elf Star. I'll always be Chad. Chad is slightly different. We were talking about Brad earlier. It's a so. messed up relationship, Chad. It's true. It's it's the beginnings up. of a love triangle. If I fell for Caitlyn. So does Caitlyn have a manner of speaking? Um. It's got to be Valley Girl. If it, you're doing it's got to be Valley Girl. I'm assuming Go. her name is Caitlyn. Come on. No offense to all the Caitlyns out there. Go for it. Like, oh my god, that deer is super awesome. I totally want to, like, mate with that deer or something. I don't know how I would mate as a sword, but actually now I'm getting visual. So I'm going to put yeah. that upside, yeah. and I totally would like to make out with the deer, because that is much more pleasant. We, can we all we can all hear the sword? This you can hear. The sword? Oh, is. yes. So, like, my name is the, totally Caitlyn. The deer Caitlin. is still bounding around, by the way. My name is totally Caitlyn, and I super enjoy the bloodlust, and I super enjoy the deer Pierre. Hi, Pierre! My name is Caitlyn! Hello, Caitlyn. You are very beautiful. I thank you for doing that. But I don't like you because oh. you killed me. Oh, it's you not bitch. my fault. I was not. What? No. I was being controlled by somebody else. Like, it was super not my fault. Guys. It was very rude of you. Will you still make out with me? As opposed to Elstar. He, he's very beautiful. Look at those eyes. Yeah, Elstar really doesn't do it for me. I totally think you do it for me. I think I need the four legs. And I do admit the four legs are very beautiful, but no. You have super sexy, sexy hindquarters, too. I totally like them. Oh, you, you, oh my god, that's so sexy hindquarters! <laughs> you, you really think so? I really totally do. Like, it's super important to me to have sexy hindquarters. 
But you're a sword. You don't have any hindquarters. <laughs> this one. <laughs> that is called a pommel. Every deer knows that. It is like super round and supple, just like yours. Wasn't that the diplomacy? <laughs> it was diplomacy. Its name is diplomacy. <laughs> like, duh. <laughs> but uh, you don't have, you have no fire. You have no spark. Elfstar, he is, he is the light of my life. <laughs> Elfstar could like totally put me on fire. He totally, that would be, that would make you more beautiful, yes, but. <laughs> Elstar, could you like totally put me on fire without like burning Helia's hand? <laughs> <laughs> it would make me very. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> um. <laughs> MacGuffin. Like, I'm totally on fire now. Can we like make out? <laughs> no, definitely not. You'll burn me. You're a ghost. You like totally told me to be on fire. Ghost, I, I ghost. said you'd be more beautiful on fire. I it still does not mean that I want you. Uh, I am in love with him. It's okay. I'll like Look totally... at those eyes. No, look. No, Shh. I don't have any eyes to like look at him. Shh. Look at the eyes. No, I can't look at him. You must look at him. I don't have any eyes. They are beautiful eyes. I totally believe and you. And have you seen the tush? I super believe you because I've never heard you got say. the tushy like nobody's business. Well, I know. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's all I can think about as I'm walking around behind him. I totally get that. And I like I'm wondering you. what the bandits are doing about now, though, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, I guess I suppose I should totally like care about them. They're still stunned. I'm not concerned. They're imagine, literally. Like, we cut to the bandits and we're all comically like. The, the bandits literally are all. Well, she's on the ground going. Ugh. Yeah, we know the stun effect. He's oh, yeah. dead. <laughs> and Lego it's just like is like looking at. Bridget, like, <laughs> but Sorry. keeps looking over at the deer that's glowing and talking about the wizard Tushi. Can you see the thing that someone said in chat? <laughs> it's, what? it's terms of endearment. <laughs> QQ's done. <laughs> oh my god, that was the one. That was oh, the one that no. broke me. So, so awesome. Good I don't job, think I've ever considered paradox. myself broken before today and now. <laughs> I do not think that uh, we are going to be able to consummate our love. Me out. Um, you can't can we like go to the beach or something? With you, you and me? No, let's like totally go to the beach because like neither of us can burn, like sunburn. You're a ghost. So if we can just get one more <laughs> animated anthropomorphized animal or creature yeah. thing, or whatever, um, we could do an entire party someday. Oh, we're, just we're the objects. Oh, I love it. The mace and Brad. Here, and chat. We need the mace. We, we need, need the mace. We just need a fourth one at some point, and then we could. So, um, so uh, while we continue, Caitlin is just going to continue prattling along. Dude, it's so it'll like a special show. So in the background, it'll just kind of sound mm-hmm. like well, there this. is Harvey. And Harvey. And Harvey. Oh, that would be great. Which one was Harvey? The big oh, bunny. Oh, the Right, right. But we so, haven't given Harvey a name or a, a voice yet like that. No, but Only as we I'm continue. I'm saying is chat create voices for people. That's what I'm saying. Is oh, the, the next time. Chat induced what, what, sentient Once thing. we come up with a fourth chat induced sentient thing, that could be like what we did for oh, a hyperdrive or for something. Yeah. It could be a cat. Yeah. Or a clock. R- who knows? Who knows? It's going to happen eventually. It's going to happen eventually. So while so. Continue. Caitlin is going to prattle on, but we don't really hear what she's saying because we have and so much other stuff going on. But Caitlin's going, Pierre. All the time. Um, the bandits as a whole, of course, are uh, just sort of like looking at the tiki bar and, you know, not, not to use um, any French terminology here, but they're all kind of like, what the fuck? Yeah. And the only real leader that's left is um, Lego, because somebody killed his ego. And we're kind of out of combat if somebody's going to. If I kill talk. all, if we kill all of the leaders, wouldn't we be their leaders? Is that how that works? Let's ask. Well, there's only one way to find out. I mean, it's technically two, but one's. <clears throat> well, yeah. We heard they were bad. Yeah, Bruce said they were bad. Crawley said they were bad. Johnny yeah, I mean, Appleseed said they were bad. Uh, if you can't the trust a random kinda... imp and troll that you meet somewhere. That's Lord Devereux. Bruce and Crowley think. seemed really trustworthy. No. I like them. I like them. Um, so I am... Psst. How long How long does that thing last? I'm very trustworthy. Wait, uh. did Crowley come with us? Crowley, you here? <laughs> what? It's just a voice you hear down here on the ground, somewhere there. Right behind you. You sneaky little imp. I'm an imp. What do you expect? <laughs> you don't kill them. They're all bad. Do you know they tried to burn us out of our cave? 
We did the same thing they to them. They threw rocks at Bruce. Oh. Why would they do that? They, Bruce? Bruce. Because he's big. And what else are they going to hit him we with? We should finish off these bandits. That's yeah. it. Let's get him. Caitlin's very excited about that idea. I, I, I can tell. I'm down for... She thinks that the blood Lego. on the sword will put out the fire so that she can then make out with Pierre. Does Caitlin mind that I licked her? Caitlin liked it. She liked it. <laughs> Your tongue is now on fire. <laughs> you responded really quickly with an answer. <laughs> I am going. Like? How long does the, the stunning last for? Just one round. Just one round. So we get to attack twice before they get to attack us. Okay. Um. Do we need a shock to any of them? Yeah. You might want to uh, find out why they are doing the banditing. I thought it was just for money. I can actually tell you that. <laughs> so I, you let's listen really... to Crowley. Yeah. No. I listen. could intimidate them into telling us, or I could make Caitlin intimidate them into telling us. Oh, or you could seduce them into telling you. No, no. no. Oh, uh, Muffet is gone, do anything. So. Right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. Muffet's <laughs> writhing on the ground. Dead. Right. Well, she's, the blood uh, loss is probably paralyzed. getting ready to set in right now. I you think know? we're just trying to stop the bandits in general, yeah. right? Yeah, because it's our turn technically, right? Yeah, you guys yeah, are first. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill Lego then, if I can. Well, he's he's gonna be stunned until the end of yeah. this round, so. Um, and you don't have minus five this time, so. Yeah, yeah. You're actually at quite a bonus. I beat it by two. So you beat it by seven. Um, and you do 66? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that's certainly going to unstun Lego. Um, he he's paying attention now. Vanessa's next. Okay. Well, the yours was in mine, wasn't it? Or did you? Part of yours was. You do your own. You yeah, do and this you. is her new, uh, this new action. This is a new action? Oh, yeah, new I'm action. Sorry. New round. I'm not so. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, the, the, the you got guards are all stunned and not I doing anything. I don't know. Everyone's how stunned. Could ever have confused Ego me. and Lego are. Everybody's Ego's dead. dead. Everybody's dead. Ego Mom and, and Muffet. Muffet they're are near dead. death. They're bad. It's, it's all that matters. And Lego. Now is like, okay, great. Just got shanked. Yeah. Well, this is my time to shine. So, all of these stunned uh, bandits, you're now our bandits, right? I smile at them. You guys can't bandit anymore. You're done banditing. Whatever would we do? You will live your lives. Get a real job. Be, Be a worker. You've Be a miner. You've got this awesome bar set up here. I'm you, just saying, you oh, advertise this thing. Thank you, you've, Elstar. You've got a clientele and all the, the neighboring page. The blood splatters and the shit. I'll give you my best recipe. Well, <laughs> I'll give you my like third tier recipes, which are great. And I love but, that suggestion. But, so, but the evil priests up at the cave. We're at the end of the ravine. Oh. They'll they'll force us back into banditing. Oh, we got that covered, no problem. And yeah. capture it. <laughs> yeah, we're not no one's forcing you back into banditing. Yeah, no. Okay? You no mean, one. You mean you're gonna you're gonna deal with the priest? Yeah. yeah. Right now. Oh yeah. Oh we we right are now. Yeah. We, we are but four people and we have offed how many fifty of you? What kind we got of, this. What kind of priest is this? Oh they're they're terrible. Okay, more? Terrible priest. More info? It's actually a priest and a priestess. They're very evil. What do they look like? What Who are do their they deities? worship? Who do they worship? Um, one is a priest of Boehner. Boehner? Boehner. He's a very evil god of death. V Boehner? Okay. Boehner. Boehner. Can I? Okay. And the other? Uh, is a priestess. She's known as the... Mistress of pain giving. Her name is Lovatan. So that we are clearly not stealing anything that belongs in any other game system. Sure. I like it. Oh, we, they must be stopped. Boehner will soon meet his own deity. Let us go. No more banditing. No more banditing. We'll, run a, we'll run a tiki bar in the middle of nowhere. Near you got caves castle. galore around here filled with creatures who would love a good brew. Just advertise but, better. But Cookie mo caves! Most of them love human flesh, too. So have that as goblins. a side dish. I'm yeah, kidding. Here's the no. 
No abandoning. Could, could we just maybe go to the castle and work as guards? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Only if you take the tiki with you. Well. Take everything that's worth value. When I get back to the castle, I want to be able to have a good beer, and it should be set up and run by you guys. And my stew. We're down for that if we get to walk out of this alive. Yeah. (laughs) And you'll really take care of the the priest and priestess and all their minions and the zombies. They're as good as dead. You know how we you don't have jobs? We have jobs. So I'm I'm going to roll the diplomacy check on the guy who's talking right now. And I will crit the holy hell out of it because I only have to roll one die. Because I'm tapping into Erasmus. Ugh, dirty dog! Are you, Are you cheating? No, I'm just using my pre-buff. I know. I beat it by 10. Erasmus. <coughs> um, oh, I get it. Well, they all, roll one die they die all break out into whistling. <laughs> and, and singing this dwarven song about whistling while you work nice. as they begin to pack up their tiki bar and their bar supplies. Um, while one of them, of course, explains to you that the highest cave back of the ravine is where the terrible priest and priestess priestess have their temple of undead evilness. But they warn, don't mistake it for the second lowest cave, because that's where all the minotaurs are, the terrible maze that nobody has ever come out of. Challenge accepted. I am intrigued. However, let's take dispatch the priest and priestess first. Yes. Sounds good. And all the minions. Well, Must of course, not that goes forget all of the minions. There, that's kind of like added in when we say priest and priestess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Ha-ha! Do we have any more hack attacks waiting? Mm, uh, no. There I mean, there's one up there, but I think that was that my sword. Yeah, I forgot to... Yeah. You forgot what? My tab. I didn't charge stuff because it's been going on, so I just switched between. Laptop is dead, so he's trying to do the stuff on his phone. Do everything on my phone now. Oh man, I probably should have. Which is fine. (laughs) It's fine. Hopefully, my second tablet will be charged up by next week. We're good. What is she saying though? Yeah, like Pierre, you're super sexy, and I totally love you. I think we should totally go to the mall together, and like totally then go to the beach, and then like we could totally like watch the stars together and gaze at the stars together, and it would be like really super romantic. And then like we could totally like um hold on. Okay, we like kind of like go to the mall again, and then I would like you to stand and watch while I shop, and because I get to like t- try on little clothes because I'm like super skinny, obviously. Little and I sword, could, sword she- cape, sword clothes, mm-hmm. clothes, different types of sheath. Because like clothes are totally made for people that have no curves. So da la. It's true. So can we like totally date now, or make out? Because the blood of my foes is totally like put out the fire. Very tempting. Yes, I love the idea. <laughs> very tempting idea. But look at those eyes. Just. Look at that. See? What if I totally like blinded him and put out his eyes? Would you then like oh, totally you like me? not do that to those eyes. Those are beautiful eyes. But if they were no longer like impeding so our love. So I would love... like to use my Chadwick boosted power <laughs> to change a hostile target's demeanor to friendly and helpful. Hmm. I'd like to use it on Caitlyn. <laughs> okay, so like now I'm totally thinking we should have like a three way. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's now that right there is something is something that I could totally get behind. No, behind is like totally an option with that, like and, isn't it? and with his tushy. Mm. No. Do you see where we can? I totally mm. see where this is going. Oh my oh, gosh. Yes. First, totally. let's go to the mall. Okay. You and could... then let's go to the beach, and we can do the stargazing, and then we can take like a whale watching trip. Wouldn't you like that? That would be like totally exciting. We could like look at the whales, and they could like blow out their little holes. This is a prime Caitlin. example of how you need to be careful <laughs> what Caitlin. you wish for. I love it. <laughs> but she doesn't want to kill me now. <laughs> she doesn't. Just blood, probably. Just so that's helpful. What? <laughs> so she doesn't want to kill me now, so that's helpful. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure chat just clipped that, so... <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be great out of context. <laughs> They, they're always best when they're out of context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just, I'm looking forward to the day that I show up and, you know, some random person from chat has, like, brought that to the congregation and just set it up beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. That's amusing. Okay. I just feel so good about all this. I really like Caitlin. I love Caitlin so much. And I like Pierre. I'm very happy with this. I love Pierre. Chat did good today. Pierre is a dear dude. Chat did good. Uh, good I also job, really love Chat. How much time do we have? Um, 17 minutes. Crowley's great. Looks like we got 17 minutes. 
I really want to use my uh, buff. I don't want to go to waste. It doesn't, it doesn't go to waste. Go to waste. That's like one of the week. great so things. So the, the plus thingies that we get. Cool, cool beans. It rolls. Yeah. Cool, awesome. cool. Cool, cool beans. Cool, cool, beans. cool beans. Cool beans. I, cool you're beans. in charge. Do you think we should? Where, where are you on um, your story arc? You're not going to get into the temple very far. It probably <clears> makes sense to, since you're going to have new people next week anyway. It probably makes sense to kind of. Perhaps there is something to fight on the way to the cave. There, there is something to fight on ah, the way to the cave. I do have an attribute that says kill. pocket MacGuffin that says once per session reach into a pocket and reveal a plot forwarding. Nice. I know more similar. Oh, yes. Ah, I think it would be funny to allow chat with my hyper boosted ability peanut gallery to vote what that random pocket item is. There what are we going to do, go. chat? Okay, so chat, if you didn't understand that, Samantha's... So building off of, because if you haven't figured this out yet, the basic and the boosted abilities, the pre-show stuff, has had to do with people's characters on other shows or even on other programs or, or films or whatnot. Yeah, for Kiki, what I thought would be funny was to give her, uh, for your time with the with the wild, mm -hmm. um, your basic is based on the hockey thing, so that's why it's drop the gloves. Yep. That's your bonus to defense versus unarmed. <laughs> and uh, then her, her boosted one, Peanut Gallery, is basically that um, she can ask you to select her next action with the winning choice and automatic critical success. Her character also has an ability called Pocket MacGuffin, which is basically that as a halfling, she can reach into her pocket and pull out a magic plot forwarding device that will enable us to move forward. So to put all that together, what we're asking you right now, Chad, is if you throw out a couple of ideas right now on what- What we should do. What happens next. Before and then we we'll get vote to the on it, and the and winner priestess. is what we're gonna do next. And then I need at least a couple minutes at the very end of the show to say some things to chat before we call it good. So this is a 10 minute excursion. 10 minute excursion. Yeah, at most 10 minutes. What's it gonna be? Yes, go chat, go. 10 minutes, do it. Or Caitlin could just vamp. <laughs> <sighs> that would be worth 10 minutes right there. Caitlin, Pierre, his discomfort. I mean, like those two throwing I was throwing enjoying in. that conversation. Like Caitlin could totally like vamp because vamps are like super cool, especially the not sparkly ones, but the ones with like Buffy and Angel, they are super awesome. And like Spike was totally sexy. Vampires and I really are liked not him sparkly, too. Only, only ghosts, only oh, Pierre. Only ghosts, yes, see, Pierre that's why I think sparkle, you're so sexy here, obviously, because you're not like a stupid vampire, you're a ghost sparkle. And I totally Everybody knows that. that only real vampires are in high school. The only problem is like, um, Elf Stars, like fire would totally like kill a vampire, wouldn't it? But yeah, you're right. not a vampire, so it wouldn't be bad. I'm totally fine. If you were made out of wood, like my antlers. I am not. I'm like totally made out of steel. Cord, hard Foam steel, stuff. baby. Foamish stuff. Foamish stuff. No, it's, it's bone. bone. Not wood. It's, it's bone. I'm, 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 they're my antlers. I know what they are. They're bone. Sorry, why would I try but to like, correct you? Are they totally like incorporeal right now because you're like a ghost? Oh, yes, you're right. They're not bone, are they? They are. They are figments of bone. Like, totally. Ectoplasm. Mist bone. Oh, bone yeah. Mask. Ectoplasm. Like Brad. Yeah. Oh, somebody's voting Brad. Let's see. I saw Brad. I saw the axless. I saw plot hole. <laughs> portable plot hole. Where we all fall in a hole. Yeah. Well, portable that... hole is a D and D item. I know. What's that? Uh... Really? Uh, surfing hexasword. Oh, what is that? Uh, movie sure. with the satellite and the parents get sucked into it and they get to go through all those things. You, you can't with the remote. Yeah. Uh, T uh, with um, well, Pleasantville did that for like a second. Adam yeah. Sand. No, 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 it's like from the eighties. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. stay tuned. Yes, stay tuned. Yes, that's what I thought when you said plot hole. Did you jump. see? I can just see that. She was like the wheels going, there, and you were like, I know. Yeah, the television was one of my parents growing up. So mom I and dad saved the universe. Expensive. Mom and Dad save the universe. Love that movie. Oh, well, okay. Well, this gets worked out. Then I'm going to use this chance actually to say yes, a couple things. Yeah, yeah. Yes, why do not? It now. So, um, so chat, uh, just keep you up to date on things that are happening. So this week is the beginning of a three episode arc in which Kelly is GMing and doing a great job at it. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic, sir. You are Thank nervous you. for yeah. nothing. And um, and it's so he will be doing this week, next week, and the week afterwards. Um, we're, we had talked about doing this, the season two premiere of uh, Metaverse at the end of August. It's actually going to be the first Monday in September, just for practical reasons that just works out a lot better schedule-wise. Um, part of that, candidly, is I don't think I'm going to be in the state on that last Monday in August. Um, so uh, so that just to let you know that that's going on. Um, 
if you weren't able to see any of the opening stuff that we talked about on Zoe's Facebook Live broadcast uh, this Friday for as part of Gen Con during the normal DFA time slot, we are going to be broadcasting Gamers Live, the live show, one of the live shows that we do out at Gen Con every year. Um, we'll be broadcasting it during the normal DFA time slot on Friday. And so uh, spread the word did because I say like this at the start. I think you said it in the in Facebook update. thing. I said it in the update. Yeah. I get so confused as to which I said. But where. like so if you want to tune into DFA and oh man, DFA's not here, but oh uh, Gamers Live is here yeah. and it has Chris and Matt and Steve and Christian, Christian and, and Maggie, Maggie and, and uh, everybody. Nathan, yeah. So watch it. Yeah, you're gonna know almost everybody on stage from yeah. other hyper shows and such. So please give it a shot. Yeah. Give us some shout outs for it. Um, we're, I talked to Zach about um, recording the show on Saturday as well. I'm not sure when we're going to be broadcasting it or how that's going to work, but we do have some options related to that. So we're going to try and bring you that one as well. Cool. Also, while we're out at Gen Con, <coughs> several of us, myself included, are going to be using Periscope and similar um, to give you behind the scenes stuff. And so if you, you know, if you check us out on Twitter, um, I'm at NW underscore ODE. And um, so I will be doing that frequently. Other folk will too. We'll make sure to to spread the word so you can see what's going on out there. Um, the, yeah, if you're going out there, booth we're Zombie Orpheus is at booth 100, and we're going to be one of the um, kind of main stopping points for Zach and Sarah, the new uh, community, uh, community manager. manager but think? she's a social media manager. I think oh, okay. they changed the title. Um, so Zach and Sarah will be hanging out at at 100 or at least using us as part of a base of operations as they're flitting about and doing their stuff. So um, so all of that is going on. There's a lot of information on the Discord elsewhere. I want to make sure you knew that. And uh, and I, while I have the, the table for one second before we, whatever happens next, um, I really wanted to, I wanted to correct something that I, I said wrong. I said incorrectly. You never say things that are wrong. I said something incorrectly. Um, in the second to last DFA episode, and uh, I don't think I'm going to find, I don't think I'm going to read the whole thing. Please um, don't read the whole thing. But in the second to last DFA episode, uh, because we ended up ending early, there was a question that was asked. Oh, here it is. I can read it and then I don't have to think about it. Oh. So this is what I want to say to you guys if I was able to make it to the final episode of DFA season two. And so I apologize that I could not be there. Um, this is what I want to say. Uh, I picked the wrong favorite moment chat and I am sorry for that. Erasmus's face turn was extremely satisfying, but that is not the takeaway from DFA's first two seasons that I should have picked. In a sea of worthy options, because let's be honest, there were a lot of great ones, the thing that stands out the most for me is something that to everyone else was likely too subtle to even notice. And that was watching the way that Sarah embraced the show and the me? way that Chat and the rest of the cast embraced her. Oh. And that is not a Sokolov joke. Oh. So please stop laughing. <laughs> but that means you alienate her. In our 15 years together, I have always believed in her, but was never in a position to help her shine. And with Renegades, I was finally able to provide an opportunity for her to demonstrate her talents to others. Aww. And she took that opportunity, ran with it, climbed up its leg, beat it over the head with a wrench, <laughs> and then rode it off into season three. So that is my favorite memory so far from DFA. Well, thank you for making me blush on screen. You yeah. got lots and lots Man. of awes on that heart. one. Man, that was just really Oh, nice. lots of hearts. Yes. Look at all the so hearts. It has been an incredible journey with you guys. Um, thank you. I don't know if I'm saying part of this also, because I, I won't be here the next two weeks, which feels yeah. weird, because in the last year that I have known that you guys existed, I've been here a lot. <laughs> and um, so even though it's two weeks, it feels weird to me personally. So just, I can't say it enough. Thank you guys. Thank um, you, guys. you have helped us create something that is so much fun, and you have meant so much to each and every person here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, it is just—it's not just fun; it's an honor. It really is an honor and a blessing and a joy to get to do this and have you guys be a part of it. And we are so thankful that you have embraced us the way you have, and we're really excited to come back for. Well, next week with Metaverse in general, I mean, with this wonderful arc that Kelly is running, and then with season two, um, I cannot wait for what's coming on that. And uh, and with DFA season three, it's uh, it's it's been really cool. So thank you for that. Cool. Thank, thank you. you. Honey. Yeah, love you. What are we doing now? Cute. I was just going to repeat exactly what he said on that. I mean, it, it is honestly, <laughs> like it's an honor. 
I mean, it's, you know, I had my reaction after the death scene on DFA. You know, I, you guys are fabulous. You really are. And it feels great to do this for you. It's just, I can't even begin to say how much I agree with what Chris said. But it looks like the winner is the plot hole. So we're all falling a hole? Good luck with that, Kelly. What the hell? I have six minutes. I know. All right. Challenge accepted. Let's go. Whole time. Not the thing to say. Wow. <laughs> Let's go with that one, shall we? Uh, from behind you. It's all phrasing all day. Oh my god. From behind you. Uh huh. More. Near the entrance. Uh huh. More. Um, a woman. Wearing white leathers and carrying a bow, jumps around the corner. Mom? Whips out what looks at first like a handkerchief, but as she whips it out and throws it, it sort of opens up into this round circular thing which floats literally right across all of you. Oh. Um, and then sort of like slaps closed, and you're in blackness. <laughs> Well, this pitch, is interesting. Pitch black. Can we breathe? Oh, uh, wait. I got this. Fireball. This? Yeah, I light a fire. <laughs> nice. This oh, little cool. light of mine. Great. I'm gonna let it shine. What do we um, see? You see blackness. And it, weird, you don't feel anything under your feet. Are we falling? Uh, no. Well, that's delightful. Um, <laughs> and you hear a voice from behind you. Pierre? Says, Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I'm Thespinar. Thespinar? Thespinar. 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 Why are you in my home? Somebody put us in your home. Uh, we fell into a plot hole. Oh, that must have been Kiri. Kiri? Kiri. Kiri. K-I-R-I, Kiri. Kiri. Why are you burning your finger? So I can see. You cannot see in the dark? No. It's true, an elf, like kind of ish, maybe. Depends it's on to the, help us. It depends on the addition. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Right, right. How about if I do this? Suddenly all the black becomes white. So now it's big white area. Can oh. I? Is it blinding or can <coughs> I see it? Eh, it's a little annoying. It's annoying, but I can now see. Yeah, but you can't see the deer. I can't see yeah. the deer. Can't see the deer. Pierre did not get stolen with us. Um, you don't see the deer. Pierre. Could be that it's so white. Yes. Pierre, here. are you I'm here? here. I'm right there, right beside you. Here's here, God, here's yeah. here, it's okay. Caitlin's very happy that you are here. Oh my god, like, thank god, that's super awesome. Why are you in my home? This is the home of Cespino. Cespino. I mean, why did she throw you in here? Does she not like you? What? She came I'm not sure what we did, and except for kill a bunch of bandits. Oh, that would be that, Bandit that, Lords that would be why. And you know what she's going bandits. to do with you? Yeah. No. She's going to take you up to the temple, and then she's going to open up this bag. Technically a portable hole. It's my home. You live in a portable hole? Yes. With the evil priest and priestess. There is no evil priest and priestess in How my home. Affect property is, taxes? When the bag gets opened, will there be a priest and priestess around? Maybe. Uh, I don't know where she's going to dump you out. There oh. will probably be lots and lots of undead, skeletons, zombies, maybe a shadow. Fabulous. You might want to be ready for shadows. They're very bad. Well, we also we have a ghost on our side, so... The shadow? Yes. The shadow? The shadow. They, they evil shadows. The shadow. Yes. Well, maybe the shadow. I don't know. Oh. Do you know a shadow? I've heard of a shadow. The shadow. I have a shadow. It's not mm. here. But, uh, yes, it will be all bad news for you because uh, the priest and priestess, whose names, by the way, are... Uh, Bain. Oh, what a weird, Bain very Bainer weird. And Samir. Bainer. No, no Samir. Those are the gods. Lavatan. Oh, that's right. The Samir. priest. Samir. Samir. And the and priestess was uh, uh, Lavatan. No, that's the goddess. God. Oh, oh that's, the go that's, the that's the goddess. That's the deity. Samir. Samir is the Bainer. priest. Oh, Bainer is the priestess. And uh, Shadir Ma. Shadir Ma is the priestess. Okay. They're very bad. They don't like people coming into their um into their temples. Maybe they shouldn't be so bad. Well, but you should know they're going to try to kill you. Oh, we're going to try, try to, to kill them? You know, if they don't kill you, they capture you, though. Do you know what they're going to do? Kill us? No. Well, maybe yes. They're going to sacrifice you at the temple. That would be gods. killing. No. Sometimes. Sometimes they do really crazy sex rituals. What? Or bleeding. 
the crate. Weird. Caitlin would like the sex for trolls, probably. You think Caitlin's kind of It might be her kink. Mm. <laughs> Is that the giggle? Did your sword just giggle? It does that. You get used to it. She's cheerful. I don't want to get used to it. So, for next, uh, p- plot hole. Why did you say plot hole? It's almost as if you expect I'm going to be telling you things that are going to happen. That's weird. Is this fortuitous? Is it serendipity? He is a wizard. He might see things. Who, him? Mm-hmm. What would he see? I don't know. Things. And stuff. Are you a wizard who sees things? Uh, I've been known to dabble. Dabble. Mm-hmm. Well, is there anything I can do for you before Not- you eventually get dumped out? I, I create magic items, you know. Give us any magic items that will help us in the one minute we have. I, I don't have magic items, I make magic okay, items. Okay, make a magic item. What do you want? I want a magical poison dagger. You want a magical oh, poison Oh, 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 I know what I want. Dagger. Let me see your dagger. Poof, you're a magical poison dagger. <gasps> see how easy that was? I want a plot don't- device. You what? I want a plot device. You want a plot device? Yep. You want a pencil that is a plot device. I want a plot device. How would I give you a plot device? That's a A wand. That is a pencil. We'll make it into a wand. Poof, it's a wand. I want something that that kills shadows. I want my sword to be shadow killing. Cespina reaches out and touches it, and uh, your sword becomes um, ethereal. Like, it it becomes, yeah. yeah. Can my mace be of truth? So it can sense when uh, people, when beings, when things around me are being truthful versus not truthful? Mace of truth? Mace of truth? The mace of truth? truth. Yes, fine, mace of truth. Mace of truth! Do you want it on contact? Or area. Area. Zone of no line. Because if I were to say zone of truth, that would be zone of no line. Questionable. So yeah, zone of no line. Can we get two magical items? <laughs> <laughs> Says the rogue. Do you want to lose your poison? <laughs> I think we're at time. Dirty. Yes, we are at time. We're at time. <laughs> yes. Okay. Like you Christmas. got your plot items. You better bring them down I on your down. paper. Because yep, I'm not that kind of GM. So somehow next week, chat, we will be, Sarah and I will still be on a plane back from Gen Con. So we're going to have Lisa Coronado and Matt Bansell are going to tag in. They will not be using these characters. There's a couple of different avatars that I'm really excited for them to show up as. And I'm just going to tell you because they don't know. And so I'm really excited. Uh, so Lisa is going to be a druid who has the ability to shapeshift into a hippo. Yep. Because it's both dangerous and funny. Uh-huh. And, uh, and Matt is going to be a bard who can give you guys a bonus so long as he sings his actions. And he has to change genres every time he does a new one. Perfect. <laughs> I'm so happy. That's great. He's going to love it. And then the week after that, Maggie and Christian will be back. And uh, uh, I'll be back. you will be back as Helia Spleen Ripper. Yes. Uh, Q <clears throat> is going to go off and do some other stuff. And uh, your your character's name is Bridget? Bridget Stumpfoot. Bridget Stumpfoot. Stumpfoot. Yes, Bridget Stumpfoot. So Maggie will be coming in with Gidget Stumpfoot, your uh, twin sister. Yeah, my twin sister. She and might be Stumpfoot. And Elf I don't Star's know. twin brother, Elf Moon. Moon. The wizard will be uh, will be coming in with Christian. Well, thank you, chat. You guys are awesome. Thank you for putting up with me on this. Uh, Good job, Kelly. All yeah. of the jitters are gone now. Yeah, you did awesome. And Good next job. week, I'll likely remember the stuff I was supposed to bring. Thank you, you good. for all the and donations. Do it. Yes, thank you for all the donations. You yes, yes, thank you guys thank very, you so very much. much. And um, and again, QQ, thanks for coming to play with us. Yeah, today. asking. I was I was so excited. I got like you called. I was like, oh. And then I just messaged you, yeah, and he was yeah. like, oh, I was just going to ask if you want to be on Metaverse. And I was like, like yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, and Mark, thanks for all your work back there yeah, for always. Mark. And Nolan, thanks, thank you for yours. Nolan, thank you. Wherever you went. Thank you, Nolan. Nolan thank you, home. Mark. Nope, he just ran that way. Oh, we love you, Nolan. He was trying to escape the thank you so he can seem like the there you go. hardworking Stoic. intern Stoic. that yes. doesn't need thanks. Yes. There you go. Isn't that a trope or something? Well, send us out life, then. Actually. What right. do I send us out with? Get yeah, out. Whatever you feel like. Thanks. See you guys next week. See you guys Early next week. Well. Bye. Take care. Morning. 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 Mayday, Mayday, this is Acting CO Era 1-5 Planetary Militia. Can anyone read me?
They came out of nowhere. We, we received a challenge and, and all of a sudden they were on top of us. The on-planet Comstar facility is silent. We need some kind of communication. Send help. We're being overrun. <laughs> 